Hello? I don't even know if I'm using the right mic. Hey guys. Do you hear this? Wait, actually you can't. Can you hear me tapping? No. No. Wait, yes? Hello, I am sick. Therefore today, holy shit! Aw, thank you for the 23 months food stamps. That's a long time. And born stars for the 25 months. Uh, yes, I am a little bit sick. All I have done is been taking my medicine and I have been taking lots of naps, but I wanted to do my chest lesson. I'm trying to, and I'm just, I'm constantly sweating. I'm sweating terribly today, so, and I have a lot of mucus. So there might be mucus and there might be sweat. Otherwise than that, it's going to be a great stream. Um, it's going to be a good day. Today, we're going to analyze my tournament games. I can't speak English. With uh, no one better than GM Hammer. He is actually probably waiting on Discord because I am late. Yeah, I don't know why every time I go outside, I get a cold. I just have the immune system of, like, a grandmother. And uh, this is what happens when I don't sleep. I've been very slow. My brain feels very slow. But uh, I do want to. <laughs> I do want to look over my games. Taking lots of meds, probably sweating. I don't know. I just keep drinking like Dayquil and Nightquil and taking little gummies. And I don't think they're doing anything. And cough syrup because my throat hurts. But it's getting better. Thanks, Enrique, for the 10 months. And I don't know why. To me, it sounds like I'm floating. I can't hear very well. So I might be shouting. I've been drinking lots of tea. But it's okay. I have. I took some vitamin C. I've got my gallon of water. Refreshing. I'm gonna call Hammer now. Yeah, my sleep schedule's been really fucked. I just sleep in the haunted guest room this morning. Well, last night and this morning because my bed sheets were dirty and I was too tired to wash them. So I just slept in the very suspicious extra bedroom, which those sheets were definitely not clean either. And there's lots of noises in that room. Sometimes I hear footsteps and I'm like, it's 4 a.m. and no one's awake right now, but I'm not going to ask questions. Um, so yeah, I haven't been sleeping very well. But today I get to sleep in my own bed because I did the laundry. How is it haunted? It's like the scary room by... Well, Minx's cats got my bed sheets all dirty because they just shed everywhere and they've been living in my bedroom and now we have six cats. But um, that room, everyone, everyone who slept in that room says that that's the haunted room. And it's like very randomly placed like it's it's uh connected to the gym and it has like this weird balcony it just bad things happen in that room you can just tell don't want to do laundry but sheets are dirty sleep in dirty bed sheets in daunted room yep so there's my life update uh yeah we have six cats now um oh my god maybe i'll show you guys after the stream i'll ask yuna if she'll let me bring them but like i wouldn't even count two of those things as cats those are like little, like, gerbils. They're like bald and just, they're, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> Where our house is just, it's all downhill from here. Okay, Hammer is waiting. I'm going to give him a call. Oh, shit. I just, oh, I need to take my, this, my medicine. Hello, Hammer. Ew, there was a rat in the room. No, on the balcony outside. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, chat, can you hear him? Can you keep talking, Hammer? Um. I'll keep talking. Okay, so I think they hear you. Voice levels. How are you doing? Long time no chat, brother. Uh, yes, long time. Well done in Vegas. Thank uh, you. Uh oh. It, that didn't last if long. You're, if you're sick, maybe we should just cancel the lesson and do what I've been doing during my COVID recovery. Which is I started Fortnite? playing Fall Guys. <laughs> I hate Fall Guys. I played I, I, at a terrible I, experience. I, but I saw you playing, and that inspired me to play. And Are you serious? Really good at the game. Is that actually why you played? Yeah, for sure. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't pass a single round, so I disappointed my team. It was not good. I have now two, two wins uh, after playing it for four hours. Uh, well, it's okay. My brain... Whoa, tell her about your nightmare. What was your ha what was your nightmare? I'd rather not talk about it. I want to hear it. What? 
Can I hear? I had a nightmare. I'll tell you about my nightmare, and then and then we'll chess. Don't worry. My brain is ready for chess. It might not look like it, but it's ready. We're not getting away. Minx also was trying to persuade me because she was playing Valorant, and I really wanted to play with her, but I said, no, I must do my chess homework. I was a committed student. I didn't give in to the video games, and then you come tempting me. Minx wanted to play Valorant? Yeah, she was playing Valorant today. Like, Minx... Andrea Hammer, the ultimate battle squad. <laughs> oh, I mean, I wasn't counting you in, but you could join too. <laughs> sure, ditch hammer. Everyone's saying my volume is so low. Oh, let me turn you up. Uh, can you keep talking, Hammer? <laughs> I'll keep talking. Oh, I know. Sure I'll be more excited after a while. I mean, we could. I have chess TV, though, so we have to play chess. But we can game after. But I don't know when you're going to sleep. I think that may be too late for me. Yeah. But I'll plan a Valorant day, me, you, and Minx. Oh, do you like Valorant? Hey, I Fusion? need to install it first. Okay, next time we'll I've do that. I've never played. But today, yeah. we, we can chat, catch up. Oh, there's actually a tournament coming up in L.A. that I wanted to show you guys. Um, we can do a little bit of catching up, and then we can do a little bit of chess. Okay, tell me what your nightmare was. Uh, I lost a game of chess. That's what your nightmare was? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, my nightmare was also kind of lame. I kept having nightmares about our thumbnail. And I think, I think I can show you guys why. Okay, is this thumbnail not terrifying? Hold on, I need to copy pasta so that I don't leak. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Oh, I should share my screen. Do you guys see this? Does this not terrify you? I have been working on this thumbnail like three hours every day, and I don't know why. This is what I had my nightmare about. It is kind of terrifying. You spent three hours on that? Okay, well, there was a lot. Yeah, it, it takes, it's a lot of work, Hammer. Yes, I did spend well, three I hours. Well, I mean, this is why you let the pros do the work. Like, a pro could make mm -hmm. that. Oh, in, I didn't make like it. I didn't make minutes. it. Ten minutes. No, I had someone make it. I was getting the photo. I mean, I had to take the stills. I had to pick the background. I had to do the colors, come up with the concept. We had to find a poor college kid, buy him a t-shirt, force him to pose. There's a lot of steps. Seriously? Yes. La. Chills. You couldn't find a picture online? You needed to find a college student <laughs> and have them pose after yes. the video? Yes. That is incredibly poor planning. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of poor planning that went into this um, thumbnail, unfortunately. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't flop the video. We'll see. Hello, Anna School. He said, hi, Hammer. Who is Anna School? They sound familiar. You know that is? They're a chess player. I, number one, that is not what their name is. And number two, I have no idea who they are. Oh, well, they said hi, Hammer. I thought I, it sounded familiar. Thanks, Skeleton, for the three months. Well, sorry, Anna School. Well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a legend uh, in your channel right now. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hikaru destroyed Ali Reza today? Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't realize he won. Wow. There were some crazy results today. Were you doing any commentary recently or no? Well, I was doing commentary rather recently. Thank you very much for bringing that up did catch COVID on my second day in Madrid and uh, had to go into quarantine fun Are you, times. Well, now we can be sick buddies together. Well, at this point, I'm healthy again. So, oh, well, yeah. that, never mind. That's fine. Okay, this is, there's a tournament. So Joe just said he did terribly in this. I don't know anything about this tournament, but it is in L.A. It's July 15th, which is in a, like a couple weeks. And I could play under, I wish there was an under 2,000 section, because then I could farm, but I don't know. I don't know how LA tournaments is are, and if they're sweaty. They I don't think it is. It's right here on my stream. Um, it looks like under it's... Under 2,100 FIDE rated. Oh, it's FIDE? Yeah. Wait, how do you know that? Second line. Second line. No. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It, no. Oh, oh, aha. Oh! Nice! Hmm. 
Okay, what is the time control? Uh, event overview. 40, 80? I've never seen that before. Where are you seeing this? First oh, right line. here. 40, 80? What does that even... What? 40 minutes? 80, 80 minutes and 40 moves. Oh. 80 minutes? And then That's... Another okay. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty decent time control considering it's that not bad. it's two games a day. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, they should have like 40, 90 for a game. Yeah. I mean, and if it's only two days, I mean, this might, I don't it's know. three days. Right? Oh. You should play the three day. Oh, you can pick, where, where do you see that? <laughs> well, it's like Thanks July 15 man. to 17 or 16 to 17. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, then I should I mean, do three I days. I have read Thanks these, I mean, these, this US way of doing tournament announcements is horrible, but... I've read enough of them to kind of know what I'm looking for. I'm just worried that I had one good tournament and I'm going to go play again and I'll get destroyed. I feel like that was my lucky break and I don't know. I feel like I should quit while I'm on the top, you know? Yeah, sure. Top. Okay, for my You're life. 1650. <laughs> I'm 1995, which is practically an expert. 1650. We are not talking about FIDE, we're talking about USCF. That's a very American way of thinking. Uh, I'm just worried I'll get destroyed. But maybe why I might are, play this. But why are you even concerned? I mean, you were doing good. Like, you, you had, if anything, you had an, uh, an opportunity to get an even better score. Like, yeah, but what if that was a one-time thing? A one-time thing where you had chances to score even better? Mm, I mean, a one-time yeah. thing is when you just have the maximum output possible based on the positions you have. But that wasn't the case at all. What is that supposed to mean? It means that, like, you weren't maximizing your opportunities. Like, there were lots of chances for you to to do better in games you drew or lost. Which, speaking of, we can get to analyzing. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think you should you should play this, no? Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's in LA, and I'm pro I don't think we're doing TwitchCon anymore, so I should do it. I don't really have a reason not to, except that I'm scared. But I'll, I'll sit on it a little bit. Is anyone... Joe, do you think there's sweat in here? Why are you scared? Speaking of this video with the stupid thumbnail, right? <laughs> the game you lost, the game you lost was just exclusively you talking yourself down uh. into losing. <laughs> right? You just had a better position out of the opening. Really? And then you just We should analyze yourself. it. We you just talked yourself into losing. Oh, I know this person. She's so good. She is uh, good. She's scary. She was not scary at all. She played the opening terribly. You had an easy Did I? advantage. I can't remember and, what And you opening. just kind of talked yourself into losing. Honestly, I've always been terrified of this woman. I just, I had PTSD to playing her when I was a little girl. And yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I was scared. And chat, you should watch the video too. And look at my cringe thumbnail. What? Oh. Oh, let me look at this line. Oh, also, I was very rusty. This was like four months ago. I should have played my bishop b5 yeah, no, line, but... but yeah, no, you didn't have the opportunity to do so, I think. But oh. Really? My I, opening it, was good? Of course it was. It, but this you trading line? You even made line? a commentary track about how you were better after <gasps> night of three. Oh, no! Why are and there... you even had a good explanation talking about the bishop on c8. I just realized... Oh. Wait, oh. I thought... Oh. Yeah, no, I, I, I did do I that. I can't tell if you're watching with sound, but you like actually had a good analysis of the. Situation. I know I wrote the analysis myself, but then I forgot it. But yeah, I mean, I analyzed. I'm the one who wrote the commentary for this YouTube video. Yeah, so, I mean, I. I, I just if forgot. you just don't take on F5, you're just better. Oh yeah, I did say that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you did say that, and then it was edited badly, so that it showed <laughs> the same situation twice. That yeah, was kind of I was going to say, I wasn't aware that we did this. I should have watched over the last version. I don't know why we have two boards, but you know what? That's for another day. I'll look into that later. Okay. All right. Well, I'm ready to analyze. Yes. 
Thanks, Inverse. What? Yo. Yeah, chess. What? Chess? Let's do some chess. Just a little bit. As much as my little heart can handle. It's not much. 502? Until, uh, 502? What? Is that your username? No, it's 604. You should know this. 604. I, the area code I mean, of where I was born. Numbers. It's not random. It's my home country, Hammer. How do you not know this? It's very important to my identity as a proud Canadian. Hammer, do you have a camera today or no? Uh, I muted myself. I just sang my zip code, 1044 Keith <laughs> Avenue. Wait, what? I, I feel bad people missed Wait, out. Don't don't tell us your zip code. That's not good. We should know that. Is that your... Actually, I'm not going to ask questions. You mean your... 1044 Wait, Keith ha Avenue. Hammer, Berkeley, Hammer! California. Oh, okay. You don't live there anymore. <laughs> I thought it was it's your... It's been a while. It's okay. been a while. I was worried you were doxing yourself. That, that was the song we sang <laughs> and learned to know our home address. I never had a song, therefore I never my knew my home name address. Is Yoon Ludwig. <laughs> this is my address. 1044 <laughs> okay. Keith Avenue, Berkeley, California. Wait, how long did you live in California? For a year. Only a year? How old yeah. were you? Like eight? Why did you need a Nine. song? Oh, that makes sense. Nine. Okay. Damn, why'd you only live in America for one year? I, you know, just weirdness all around. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> wait, weirdness? Uh, okay, I have a confession to make about this game, Hammer. Uh, so I was inputting my game for my notation, and I couldn't read my handwriting after move 33, um, but there was actually seven more moves, and uh, I, was, I didn't have time to use my memory, so uh, we need to figure out the last seven moves of the game. Yeah, no, I, w I was going to say, I d didn't think that was the final position of the game. Yeah, I just, I couldn't read the, these scribbles. I just couldn't understand, I couldn't decipher. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Okay, you want to talk about it? I guess we're going to talk about it. I guess that's what There's we're here to do. There's still the option of just <laughs> skipping out on Chess TV and opening Val. I had one shot to do that, and Minx is not live anymore. Uh, what no, round is this? Not. This is my game against Jared. Oh, this is against... No, wait. Jared. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, it's wrong. This is against the French guy, Pierre. Okay, yes. This is French guy, Pierre. For some reason, Pierre. that didn't kind of transfer when I input the PGN. Um, this is the game that I drew uh, that I should have lost because I blundered. We're only going to analyze... Oh, Minx is still live? No. Wait, is she gaming? <gasps> no, we can't. She's playing Overwatch, which she saw I, from Valor. Overwatch is so 20. Yeah, no, well. we're kind of too cool for Overwatch, but we could convince her yeah. to play Valorant. But we can't do that. We have to. We have Chess TV. We can't. We can't cancel it. He's Quebecois. Okay. However, yeah, and I asked her if she would wait for us after, but she has to go at five. So we're gonna. I chess. do have a camera. Yes. Did you oh, yay. Yes, please. Okay, we'll analyze. We'll game another day. Look at that face. That beaming face of sunshine. All right. Show. Nope. Uh, okay, chat. One second. I'm grabbing a hammer cam. She was playing Valorant. I know I wanted to play with her, but I couldn't because I, had, I was inputting my chess games. Henry, your hair's grown out a little bit. Are you are you growing yeah. it out? No. Oh. Just, you know. See? Busy. See? Too busy to go to the hairdresser. I notice those things. That that's how you know you have a good friend. When they notice sure. when your hair is different. It's true. Yeah. It's evidence of a good friendship. Chat isn't true. Evidence of you being a girl. Yeah, that too. All right. We're going to chess. Yes, chess. I hate game analysis, especially these games, because this game, this game was the most, like, closed, unexciting game ever. Okay. I mean, that is your opinion, and <laughs> I guess you are entitled to an opinion, <laughs> but, um, 
I would tend to disagree with that <laughs> assessment. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's figure out why. Okay. So you played your normal King's Indian? Yes, I did. And he did something weird. Yes, it threw me off. It yeah. shook me. Um, but I mean, I think you reacted pretty well. Um, I, I think you, 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 you did fine. You just did your normal King's Indian opening thingies, getting your bishop pointing down. And uh, we always, yeah. when I push, yeah, I think we can skip up to h5. So we're supposed to block this pawn, I'm assuming. Well, well I mean, I don't really know. Um, and I would say that the, uh, the King's Indian isn't really my main area of expertise, but I think this reaction you did with h5, I, maybe, maybe it's more accurate to do c5 first, like do this plan you did and then push h5. But in essence, it's it's very much the same thing, right? That you, you push c5 instead of e5 because you don't want your pawn to be blocking your bishop. Yep. And uh, then after knight e5, this knight is really well placed because white cannot really chase it away without allowing you then to go to g4, which is a square where you can't be chased out, you know, where you have that protection from your own pawn, and things are just looking good. Yeah, the only yeah, the only problem with this line that I find is like which what happened in the game is how they end up getting the outpost knight here and then f7's kind of weak. I I, I can't see what you're oh. highlighting, sorry. Uh that's okay. I th this it's looks not transferring to me. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the best setup against... Uh, we can just continue. I'll ask you when we get to it. Yeah. Uh, no, so I thought this was this was good uh, on your uh, part. Uh, queen d2, normal, a6, that's fine. Uh, I'm kind of curious what you were planning on a4. Um, well, I mean, that happened later in the game, so I'd probably just use the b4 square in the same way with queen a5, queen b4. Yeah, uh, good. Uh, that's all I wanted to check. Because, uh, like, a4 threatens a5, right? And that's often a very uh, oh, difficult yeah. decision to make in these structures. Um, whether or not you're, you're afraid of white ruining your pawn structure by going a5 or not. So, like, if you castle, then a5 is going to be a critical move. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. For instance, in this case, the computer seems to think it's not very good for white because black gets this pressure along the B file and, and all those squares that are not covered. Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, if, if white here had managed to develop first, right? If white had a decent development, something like this then this would be much superior for white because you have those pawns protecting each other. Uh, the, the back pawn uh, would be well protected by the knight and queen. And like white is in control with black having that isolated side pawn. Okay. So here kind of white has control all down the B file uh, s because you're kind of being blocked by this well protected pawn. Whereas in this situation, uh, there's just so many squares for your queen to use and your rook can get in and, and make threats as well. Okay, so here because black can bring the rook, attack on b2 and block the pawn, whereas the knight isn't defending the pawn and white can push and block the attack, this is good. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on how much pressure you have down that file. Okie dokie. But in, in general, sometimes people will allow this slightly worse pawn structure for black just to get those counter chances down the open file. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but you prevented it anyway with uh, moving your queen out. Uh, and then... Oh, no. The guy didn't go a4, sorry. Yeah, I think that came so a little later. the guy went f3. You uh, got your bishop ready, potentially... Making a pawn sacrifice. I like it. It looks good. Oh. Um, 
I wasn't considering sacking. I didn't know I could maybe sack. I don't think I could, though, ever sacrifice. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, I think he prevented it, but yeah, my plan was maybe... Actually, uh, what what did he play next? I need to see the next move to remember. Well, he, he went knight h3. Right, and then, uh, and then I played castle. Well, you went queen a5. Oh, I went for this right away. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I wanted to threaten b5. Yeah, yeah. I remember. So, I mean, sometimes you do this as a pawn sacrifice, but here you're just, you're so in control that you can easily just try and prepare it without sacrificing. I see. Yeah, I mean, I needed to do, he was waiting to castle, so I figured I should attack on the queen side. Yeah, and, and this was excellent. Like, you provoked him into playing a4, uh, which he kind of felt like he had to do, right? To prevent b5, yeah. Because otherwise you have this yeah. really easy plan. Mm -hmm. with b5 yep um and here you get your queen into b4 you're threatening on on c4 yep. uh, and when he retreats he's trying to make the exchange of queens so that for tactical reasons you cannot capture on c4 but here you play a really good move a5 to reinforce the queen and say that if you want to get that trade you're gonna have to improve my pawn structure yeah, no, I was very proud of this plan. I remember I calculated this many moves ahead. And I remember I had a reason why, like, playing this first was better for the plan as well. I think for, like, because of the queen trade line, and then I'd have a discovery attack on the pawn or something. But I was very proud of this. But then I kind of went downhill after this. But this part, like, was pretty, makes sense to me, so I don't have any questions. No, but I'm, genuinely, up until this point, I feel like you played perfectly. And with the black pieces against a higher rated opponent, I mean you're just you're just putting so much pressure on uh, on white already. Yep. Yeah, and then you, you played this opening really, really well. Yeah, and then immediately, kind of after rook a two, I lost my focus because here, like I thought they had a take. I didn't think he'd want to misplace his rook, and then I just I didn't really think I had so much here, and then I got kind of discouraged because I was like I don't know how to progress in this position. Okay, so I mean, I assume probably you calculated this. Yeah, you can't takes take. A4, right? Yeah, I remember it didn't work. Takes take and b3, and your rook yep. is unprotected. Oh, which I think is why I don't remember if I castled here, but I think that's why I defended my rook right now. Yeah, yep. you did castle. Yep, to threaten takes. And now you're threatening this. Yep, that was my plan. Which, which forced the guy into capturing. Yeah, yep, I did that. I and calculated that. And then you that. got to op open up for your rook. Yep, and now I just didn't really know. Like, obviously, I have the space on the queen side. Um, but then once he defends the pawn, which initially, like, my whole plan was to use that weakness, which now I'm no longer atta attacking. And I have a strong bishop, but I don't, I don't know. I didn't... Uh, well, I, I, I want to ask you, did you consider taking with the other pawn? Uh, I don't think I looked at it. No. Yeah. Because remember how we did some of the positional exercises taking away from the center? Uh, normally here, I mean, I would be perfectly fine with you only considering taking with the A pawn. But can you tell what the main difference is with, with capturing uh, using the other pawn? What, what would be the point of, of this capture? I mean, now, well, this isn't going to... We can maybe use the c5 square for, like, a knight to put a rook on the yeah. semi-open file as well. So that's pretty much the only point, that right. then you can maybe use and that then you c5 can... square for your knight. Because yeah. that's the kind of thing we often look for, right? Yeah. Squares where we can put our pieces without the opponent having any chance of chasing them away. That was the main ingredient of all those positional exercises we did. Like, be extra aware of situations where you can put your pieces and they cannot be chased away. Right. But in but reality, you already have that going on for you with the knight on e5. Because, yes, the knight can get chased away, but then it gets to an even better situation. Yeah, the only way I'd say that would be good is if I could get the knight from h7 there. But even to do that, I mean... Uh, bing, bing, bing. Maybe, like, knight f6, knight e8, knight c7, knight a6, and then you get it there, but I don't, well, I don't think, was c oh, takes... Oh, to c5? Yeah. Was c takes, thanks, Raha, was c takes better? Thanks for the prime. 
No, it was not better. Okay. Yeah, the only, I mean, obviously this night on H7 was really misplaced and it didn't have anywhere to go, so maybe I'd consider that, but it just seems... And that's something I kind of skipped over, but, like, there there was no reason to move it back. Well, it was part of the tactic so that if they would have taken my queen instead of uh, playing... Uh, what they did, which yeah, I forgot sure, I had but a, I mean, an attack. If you go with a queen here, and they retreat, and you still go a5. So, if you're making the argument that you wanted to prevent this b3 move, that was no, still no, no. kind of... No, 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 it did, because now in this position, so with the knight on h7, I had knight takes uh, f3 check winning the rook. So they couldn't yeah. do b3 in this position. Yeah. So that, that was why. But here, what happens... Is that you get the bishop pair, which is also not bad. Mm. But, yeah, but yeah, it's a no, closed I, I, position. Is that bishop? What? Is that bishop? Why? Well, I, I mean, it is their good bishop, but yeah, I guess no. I do want to give my knight for that bishop in this position. It's definitely better than my knight. Well, that yeah. The thing is that your knight is kind of lacking squares. Yeah, so I might as well trade him off. Yeah. But I, it's it's fine. I, I I see your thought pattern, and and it wasn't. Yes, it is. It, it, it was it was fine. We are reviewing my tournament games that you guys saw live. You guys probably forgotten by now. I typically I analyze them like right after, but Hammer was away, and then he got COVID. So now we're analyzing them a bit, a little bit later. So my memory about the game is a little bit rustier than typically, but. This is very important for improving. Since you spend so much time thinking in the position, it's good to look over your mistakes. So that's what we're doing today, which is why we're analyzing the two games I drew and the one I lost, and we're not really looking at the wins, but the wins are also important to analyze. Hey, Judo GM, good to see you. I'll never forget the engine votes. Maybe maybe we'll be back preparing for another tournament soon. So, um, so I think in this game, there were uh, two big moments. Where, where you made some uh, big mistakes. All right. Uh, and one of those moments was uh, this move here. Uh, wait, I don't even remember what I moved. Let me think. Um, is I hope this isn't my stupid rook a5 move. No. No, but that was the next bad move. Yeah, I can explain that. Uh, this is when my uh, brain so was giving up. In this oh, position, F5. you played f5. Oh, yeah, because I was just so frustrated. I was like, this game is not going to go anywhere. I need to do something. And, I mean, I thought putting... I mean, I, di- I didn't realize he was able to defend so well. I know you can't see my arrows, but I'll make them for chat. Like, the way he activated his knights was so annoying because then I couldn't take. Initially, like, I calculated knight g5, and it looked like I was going to open the file and then be able to use the g4 square. Like, I know pawn structure-wise, it can't be good because I'm leaving a backwards pawn on g6, but I thought it was an opportunity to maybe activate my bishop and use that square on g4. Activate which bishop? The, the, the d7, d7 bishop. if they take. Because yeah. otherwise... right now, every single white pawn is is basically on a, a, a light square, right? Yeah, but I can't do anything um, about it. Well, the thing is... Pawns on light squares, they still do a good job of restricting your bishop, right? You can say that, oh, this pa- these pawns are, are standing in the way of, of white's bishop. But in reality, they're also blocking the black bishop. Yeah. So your bishop is actually not having that good of a time because all its potential is being taken out by these pawns pawns which is why i wanted to push f5 yeah to try and get rid of some of those pawns yes um so here you had a very good opportunity to push f5 but first make the trade bishop for knight oh so if takes takes and then f5 uh there are some differences number one white's rook is kind of misplaced but importantly also, notice how all of your pawns on the king side is on the light squares, which means that you have reduced control of these important dark squares. Those dark squares, those were very readily available for white because they had that knight that yeah. could come into the position. I see. Um, 
Uh, but there's also one more very important thing. Uh, if white now goes knight d2, like they did in the game, to protect the e4 pawn, here you have an, an important move in f4. Oh, I remember I, was, I had, like, opportunity for this later, and I didn't think it was good to keep the position closed, but here, I'm guessing because the knight's gone and it can't... Aw, thanks, Thompson. Appreciate the prime. He said, I love hammer. Um, here, I guess it's better because the knight can't use the g5 square. Yeah. So, basically, in a closed position, the knights are usually better than the bishops, right? Yeah, true. And here you have two knights as opposed to one white's one. Yeah. Yeah, and, that makes and sense. And long term, I, I was trying to play around with this a little bit uh, before our session. But, like, long term, you're basically just trying to improve your pieces while... One thing I noticed in particular is the knight on d2. Is very bad. It, it literally cannot move forward. Thanks, watch. Yeah, that's true. It, it, it just doesn't have any... I mean, it has good squares. Like, if, if it could get to, like, this d3 square, Thank that would be pretty that. good. But, idea. like, there's no way for it to move there because the white pawns are always blocking in different directions. Ah, uh, I see. I don't know why I didn't even put any thought into this move. I immediately just thought, no, my light squared bishop is still strong, and that knight isn't that good. But, yeah, I mean, once you look at the plan of blocking in the other knight and pushing this pawn, it's much stronger. Yeah. And so white here should probably make the trade, right? Because the fewer pawns, the better the bishops are going to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, I mean, this looks a little bit scary, though, because now we have an isolated pawn and we're opening up the position when they have the bishop pair. Yeah. But at the same time, I do think that the white bishops, and, and in particular this bishop on, on e2, it, it's kind of not doing much. And you still have that idea that when white pushes forward, you get this incredible square for your knight. Um, Hi, mom. On, on G4. Sorry, I was saying hello to my mom, but I was listening. Let me look at this. This, uh, I don't know, this position still, I can't tell if I'd be more comfortable playing this. Right? I mean, let me think. I guess if they take, that's not a worry. If they were to take the knight. Yeah. I'm what trying would to take back. Yeah, with? that that's what I was gonna ask. Cause I don't want to give him a passer, but I don't like taking with the f pawn because now we would lose control over the center. But I mean, then we can maybe bring our knight into the center. Um, and our dark squared bishop. Well, I I think number one, like thinking this passer is worth anything, is massively overestimating the opponent's chances. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to be optimistic on our opponent's behalf. Like, this pawn on, on h4, if it ever were to push further forward, that pawn is just lost. Like, you have so many pieces in that area yeah, to capture that's true. the pawn. Okay, so right then... Away. Yeah, I mean, so if you can take... You can also use this square on h5, just block and, and have your knight well placed there. Okay, then this seems okay to me if we can take with the And H then pawn. you can get your rooks into the center and try and open up and get that pressure down towards the white king. Okay. There, there's no need in kind of being unnecessarily scared on the opponent's behalf. But that being said, I think the other pawn takes is also a very good move. Why? Because, I mean, just strategically, your bishop is so superior to the white bishop. Your bishop has this amazing open diagonal with uh, some potential. Yeah. Um, and, and also notice how this pawn on f4, uh, it's kind of forcing white's bishop to be defensive. But and if you get, want the oh. bishop to do something more active instead... You have to use this other pawn to protect, and at that point, Thanks you have long. all three pawns on the dark squares, which is not great because you also have a dark squared bishop. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, I still think it's hard to progress in this position, but it's definitely better than what I had earlier. 
The computer is saying it's just completely winning for black. What? Minus 2.5. Because of the E6 plan? Is that the plan for yeah, black? Just E6 e yeah, and okay. getting those rooks in. And you have the potential of getting the knight to E4 as well. Like, white can try and get their knight to prevent this, but then you get that amazing pressure down against the bishop. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, my positional understanding of, like, middle game positions with minor pieces is very hard. It's very hard for me to have, like, an instinct for what's good and what's not. Well, I think in general you would just benefit from being a bit more optimistic in every situation. Yes. Just try to see the potential of your pieces rather than kind of the potential in the opponent's, right? Instead of focusing on... Um, like white having a past pawn focus yeah. on you know the the quality of this bishop the potential of the knight uh to come up and put pressure um just uh, um, just in general a more positive frame of mind like we were talking about earlier before the tournament this is what we talked about right just being more optimistic about your own uh chances and your own skills and and that was very clear to me because in that like four month old video, <laughs> like the way you talked during that game against Victoria is precisely the kind of thing we talked about before this tournament that you needed to stop doing. No, those are good points, Hammer. I appreciate it. Chat's also getting inspired. Okay, so taking here was a really interesting choice. You did find the right plan. So, like, the plan was good. The problem is just that after knight comes in to protect yep. on e4, now that you don't have that continuation of pushing forward because yep. you kind of blocked in your own bishop. Yep, and then when I had it later after the knight on g5, it just didn't work because g3, like, uh, not in this position. Yeah, well, he, yeah, so here your knight is blocking. Yeah, no, I think it's a little later. What did yeah. I... Oh, here is this... Yeah, I was just improving my pieces because I didn't have much to do. Here I was expecting yeah. him I'm to I'm not sure I else. agree, though, in, in your assessment of improving pieces. Because, like, this bishop was your biggest monster down the board. But then what else would you play? There's just... I mean, maybe move But your after rook. bishop h6, you're pointing your bishop into a knight that's incredibly well protected. Yeah, I think I wanted to threaten taking... I don't remember if it works, if it was good here. Yeah. But then I realized, I think he had a really decent move, better than castling, which I thought he'd play, and then he didn't. Um, yeah. No, I, I see you're making a threat. And, and I agree it would be good for you if you could get this pawn on e4 isolated. Yeah. Uh, but, but he just took, right? Is this what happened? Yeah. Oh... Yeah. So you made a threat, but that threat was easy to parry. And then when he, you take back, now your bishop is much worse placed because your bishop is just being blocked by a, a well-defended But knight. at least this guy is in the game now, my bishop on f5. Yeah. Because this bishop no, I mean, on h6 It's not like you back. have a bad position. So what would you have done instead of bishop h6? Um... Yeah, I don't know. There's Maybe just, I like, nothing. Maybe you, like, move your... <laughs> like, you can move your rooks, but there's just nothing to do in this position. I was... I was depleted. My soul was dead. There was nothing. Yeah. Is she watching the stream while at work? Yay, chat. Day uh, later, Mama has to work. <laughs> okay, see you later, Mom. But just looking at him, I know I should listen. I can't because I'm at work and I don't hear a word. <laughs> oh, my mom is very funny. She missed your inspirational motivation. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, but my general principle, I mean, I, I don't think I'm wrong about the general principle of the bishop on age six is worse placed than it was. Of course, and right. You're, ma but you're, ma you're making a one-move threat, but that threat can be parried. But in this position, there's just... What else would you do? 
then like shuffle your pieces around. I I made the mistake of turning on the engine, so I feel like I cannot. Engine mm. is saying black is better after you take on. Oh. Uh, I don't know. You couldn't figure that out on your own hammer. Come on. I don't know, like something like this. <laughs> I guess, which is very similar. Well, it's very similar. The only difference is that the bishop is on g7, which is a better placement because now it's not being blocked. By okay, this okay, we can keep going. I need to see the position later to remember some things. Some of my um, Yeah. Oh yeah, so he here, did this. You played rook a5. Okay, I can explain. Well, actually, you know, there's not a much in-depth explanation except that there was nothing to do. And I wanted, I mean, this was, I, I don't even know I went for this plan. Because obviously, this whole threat with rook, doubling the rooks and pushing b5, he was going to prevent in a move. But I just had no other plan. And I thought maybe there'd be an opportunity where I could sack my b pawn. I was hoping it would come along at some point. Yeah, how about now? I remember my sister told me this after. She said I could push now. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed it. I could have done it. That's yeah. crazy. I was playing this move to prepare B5, and I could have just done it right away. I don't know if how anything, I missed B5 that. B5 is just a much worse move after you put the rook on A5, because the rook kind of gets blocked. Yeah, I was doing that to help my plan, but I... Wait. Yeah, I don't... I didn't even... That's crazy, because the entire game after this, I was always calculating B5, but it didn't work any moment later. Um, and I played uh, rook. It a did actually, but oh, well, it was tricky. No, man, I can't believe that. I can't believe I didn't look at it here. I think I was yeah. just getting like tired from the closed position. Yeah, but now you're talking down your skills again, right? You're saying, "Oh, it's a closed position. I cannot do closed positions. Therefore, I made a mistake." Yeah. When in reality, this is a closed position in which you have a significant advantage. Yeah, no, I can't believe so I missed the So surely you must have done something right. It's not like you're a complete mess, cannot play closed positions. Your pieces yeah. are better placed. White has a rook in the corner. This knight is, is on the edge. The king's still in the center. Mm. Yeah, and I, I like saw this. You don't know how the pieces move just because there's a lot of pawns. I saw this plan, which is why I played rook a5, because I thought maybe if I double my rooks at some point, I could make the th I'd have a threat and push b5. But somehow yeah. I just didn't consider doing it right away. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe and, like, I It's that. also a tactical mistake I'm seeing now. The computer says, for instance, this knight e6 move. Oh, God. Opening an attack against both the bishop and the rook oh, at gosh. the same time. Oh, wait, no. Uh, oh. Wait, and yeah, you're right. if takes here, then take the rook. Damn. I mean, honestly, I here, Black thought. is doing pretty well. Because the bishops are just so strong. But it, it did lose you a rook for, for a bishop. Yeah, no, I... I, uh, I think I was just out of focus it, it, here. Yeah, it was just bad for for many reasons, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this B5 move, it's just so strong. Cannot take with the A pawn because then the Yeah, is no, move. it's very obvious. Cannot take with the C pawn because then you get uh, the knight in. But at the same time, you have to take it because otherwise, you know, White's position will just be in ruins. I can't believe you have I missed to take this. It and then, like, your central control is just unreal and your knight is coming in. Yeah. It's, yeah, it just looks like a winning position for Black. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, I think I just kind of gave up on this game after, like, Bishop H6. I played Rook A5 because I was like, gave I have nothing. Gave up on the game? Kind of. I was giving, I was, I don't know, this was also, like, out of all the games, I had the worst brain fog during this game, um, which I made sure the next to, like, I, I started eating bananas and I was more prepared so that I wasn't getting tired, but I was getting really tired during this game. And I think it was at this point in the position that I was like, I'm just going to move something that's simple because I'm tired and I don't know what to do. Sure. But this is why we talked about food. Yeah. You remember you didn't like that we were talking about food instead of talking no, yeah. about chess? When I had the but, banana, it saved me. I forgot about the almonds, yeah. but... 
It made it. Are you saying you didn't pack the no, elements I, I did. after all? I you did only pack made it them. for a tweet? I, no, no, no. I packed the almonds, but I was too embarrassed to like pull out a big, giant bag of almonds at my table and start munching on them. It was like a little ferret or something, so I just... But, yeah. To be fair, yeah, I just thought I wasn't... Because I was eating before every round, so I was like... Even though I wasn't hungry, I didn't realize I needed the energy from food. And the only reason I started having a snack is because my dad left me a banana at my table before I got to the game. And then out of desperation, I gave into the banana. And then I realized that 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 was the best thing that happened all tournament. So then for the rest of my games, I brought snacks and it powered me through. Yeah. But now I learned. Turns out, without Papa Botas, you never would have survived the tournament. Exactly. (laughs) <laughs> it's not a great sign that you need to have your dad come along <laughs> with you to the tournament at age 20, but, you know, well, I'm glad he was there. I underestimated the power of snacks, and when I first saw the snacks, he left me, like, an orange and a banana. I'm like, okay, who's going to eat these snacks during the game? But then I really, I was very grateful for them. Okay, so Rook A5 was not great. Um... He came in to attack your bishop. You retreated. I like that. Oh, yeah. See, this is... I like is... that you keep your bishops. Yep. And then The he... guy played rook c2, which just rendered all your ideas of playing b5 completely yep. hopeless. Because yep. now he can take with the a pawn, and your rook is misplaced. So, honestly, one of your best moves is just moving the rook back. Uh, instead, you started maneuvering with the knight, which was fine. The guy moved his rook a second time for unknown reasons <laughs> and uh yeah he's still not castling is he? he he just doesn't want his rook to get back into the game bishop d3 i like it the when computer we're roasting hair. someone who's not me for once yeah the computer here says bishop takes a4 is is better for black which is just mad. I think I, no, I, mean, I actually did. I looked at, I looked at this, but then I was like, it's seriously? too scary. Yes, that's why I kept hoping to double my rooks. I wanted to make something work because I, there was no other break in the position, but I like, just. This is so crazy though. Oh, I didn't see B5. I didn't see this follow up. That's why I gave yeah, up. No, oh, if I, I mean, would have seen this, maybe I would have done madness. it. There's absolutely no chance you can find this. I, I was looking um, at it just with the hope of having a passer and doubling my rooks, but I didn't look yeah. at b5. Um, yeah, no, uh, taking the bishop pair, I support. Oh, God, did uh, you... Oh, God, did you see this game? The I... This is... I blundered terribly, and he didn't see it. And when it happened, I literally sunk in my chair. I was just defeated this game. It just I think I played this, like, the worst out of all my games. And I blundered later. Once again, you're talking down your own skills. Like, it is the worst game. You have a fine position in the middle game, uh, and you're saying it's the most awful game you ever well, played. Well, you haven't and seen I, the let blunder. Let me assure you, I have seen some of your games. <laughs> This is not even talk. Out of the tournament. Out of my tournament games. You'll see. I You'll mean, see. You, The game against the German guy, you were losing after 10 moves. What German guy? There was a German guy? Corbin. Oh, he was German? Did I win that game? No. It was oh, that a was a draw. Oh, we're going to get to that one. Yeah. Well, probably not, but we'll see. Sag. Okay. No. Okay, so bishop g7, I like this. You kind of admit your own mistake. The bishop wasn't doing much here because the knight is just blocking and it's well protected and you don't want to trade bishop for knight. So you just get that bishop back on the open diagonal. Yep. That's good. Here, engine says you had an other uh, opportunity again! to go Again! What in the uh, world? I is, looked at it again here, too, and it just didn't yeah. seem like... Oh, I didn't see that! I kept looking at the sack and then looking at, like, something else after, but I never considered yeah. this, either. No, I mean, this, this, this was very difficult. Like, giving up two pieces for a rook... Yeah, typically you never want to give the exchange so for a tricky. rook. How? Yeah. Why but is the, that? I think part of the point is that probably you're promoting one of your pawns. Because, like, this pressure against the the rook and king is just so constant and and then you just Thank you, Mike, try and get this months. this pawn like either you go c4 
Okay, computer didn't really like that, but you can also just do this. And then, like, and then you just, you can, oh, I see. Yeah, you just get the pawn, and you have these <sighs> pawns, and you're trying to get new queens. And it was a very difficult... See, I, when I moved but, my rook to a5, I knew there would be a tactic later like this, which well, I didn't see Well, I mean, to it. be fair, this tactic would have been here if the rook was down. Oh, true. Also, right? Never I mean, mind. The rook's placement has nothing to do with this. Yeah, you're right. Um, But, I mean, I think in general, like, here, look at your pieces, right? These two pieces are being blocked by the white pawns in like every direction yep so by making this sacrifice what you're doing is you're just creating the maximum energy in your own pieces yeah so um i think this was very 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 difficult i think by far the easiest solution was b5 here yeah like this, obviously yeah this was obviously uh, which i don't know i just had a brain fart i just yeah that was easy and and this opportunity was tricky yeah. but it, it still makes inherent sense to try and open up for your rook for your bishop for your knight right now you have three pieces actually being blocked by this pawn chain and making a sacrifice to get those pieces into great positions. Um, it's, it's possible to find. It's difficult, but it's possible. This, this makes sense. Okay. Okay, so uh, bishop e5, threatening the knight. The knight, re uh, bishop retreats to protect. Which I, I could uh, do what? b5 again. Yeah, once again, this sacrifice is there. But you've made another move that try to, you know, release the energy in your pieces. So at least your thinking is correct, right? You want to get these pieces into the game. You realize that you need to try and trade off uh, some of the white pawns. The problem is just that after these trades, you leave white with a very easy target in the pawn on d6. Yeah, but he can... Oh, I guess he can attack it with knights. And then I have to defend yeah. with my rook. Yeah, so it's I not mean, a your, good breakthrough. Your logic is good, but then your execution is uh, iffy. So e6 wasn't a good plan in general because of the, of the d6 weakness. Uh, well, you know, it, it was. It could have been okay. Like, maybe it's okay um, if you make the right follow-up. But here, after knight e4, making that instant pressure on the, be on the pawn... You really needed to kind of put uh, pressure against the the white pieces in return, and oh, okay. the, the key idea behind this bishop f five move is that it prevents the the bishop trade following. Because oh. in this position, you have oh. the bishop pair. Your only problem is this weak pawn. Yeah. But once you retreated to defend the pawn. White got this very favorable trade. Well, there was actually which, a tactic where they could have won a pawn, but not in this position. Is this the game? Is I this? Don't know. No, I don't but think this like, is the game. Yeah, here, now you don't have the bishop pair, and that pawn on d6 is very difficult to defend because yeah. all of White's pieces are well placed to attack it soon. But even if I played bishop f5 right away, pinning the knight, and then they move the rook. What? How yeah, do but we? Then you can. Uh, you would trade. Oh, leave at, an isolated. At the pawn. very least, you can. Trade. Oh yeah. But that that even sense. here, you can make this the defense. And then if Bishop G three, we take on E four. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So actually, my plan was good. If. I mean, your the logic of your plan was good. But we could defend the weakness on D six, with Bishop F five. Yeah. I see. So, like, the logic is what we talked about, right? How you need to get these pieces into activity. Yeah. You could do that with B5, which was a very tricky sacrifice. But it was, it was kind of more sensible or more natural to play this E6 move. And I think yeah. what I'm trying to say is that 
you know, you, you saw what the position required. You didn't find the ultimate way of dealing with it, but your right. way was okay as well. What do you mean, Andrea, you're analyzing the wrong game? What? No. We're analyzing the right game. Okay, wait, did I give you the wrong moves? Okay, can we go? Wait, so what happened actually in the game? Because right here is where Blender is coming up. Um, yeah, so there was a trade of bishops. Oh, oh, right there. He should have taken on c5. Yeah. What? Wait, no, wait, no, instead of here. Wait, maybe I gave you the wrong moves. I might have given you the wrong moves. Because okay. right here he could have won a pawn. But my scribbles. I, I, I'm not at fault for your you giving me wrong moves. I know. Knight e4, rook a5. Does any... Wait, Vila, do you remember the game? Rook a6. Well, no, I did. I just... Well, you know, I was in a rush, and I was like, we'll figure it out when we get to it, and then we got to it, and... Oh, chess.com. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, yeah, guys, this isn't... Jer wait. Oh, I didn't... My game has been online all this time? I, yeah. I was I didn't do my makeup for stream today because I had to spend the time instead of getting ready inputting it from my notation, but they've been online this entire time. Could have just copied and pasta. I could have gotten properly ready today. Could have taken my vitamins and eaten lunch. There's so much I could have done. I sent you, you No, know, I mean I'm yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I sent you the link. Yeah, I just didn't expect you to give me the wrong moves. Well, I didn't know they were online. Well, I couldn't read my handwriting and... Well, I mean, this is pretty awful. Like, I couldn't read my handwriting. So, instead, you told me the move was rook to d2. Uh, I thought it in was. Fact, he played king to d2. Oh! I was so confused. No, I sat here trying to decipher this for like 10 minutes. And I just gave up because I was late. I just gave up. That's why... Well, we saw, I, I looked through it. I tried to figure out where I went wrong. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh, no. So, oh, that, that's... Well, I have a stream idea now. <laughs> you should do, like, a calligraphy lesson or, like, handwriting. <laughs> Just Well, to be fair, a K and an R are very similar. One is close. Okay, I see what went wrong. Oh, this okay, so everything I've said apparently does not hold. Oh, that was a, that was okay. Look, this is very hard to tell. Wait, I don't know why this is wet. Don't. <laughs> it won't focus. You know what? It won't focus. But I was gonna show you guys how hard it is to decipher. Well, that's not something to be proud of. <laughs> I just wanted them to sympathize. Okay, and while you're mad at me, I'm gonna go into the bathroom because I have to be. <laughs> I guess I'll sit here and input the moves. <laughs> now she played e6. Well, e6 still makes sense. So everything I said does feel about right. Although here it makes even more sense to get that bishop up because now we're threatening in towards that white king. But she went rook a6 and then the guy could have captured. That would have been big trouble. Pressure in many directions. Instead he went bishop g3. Takes, takes. Engine says d5 would be advantageous for black, which makes sense because now we're threatening down towards this b3 uh, pawn. Instead, she played. Uh, wait, what? She went not rook a6, but rook a8. Um, okay. Right. Now this bishop is hanging, so there's no d5. Instead, she made the bishop back. Rook up. 
offers a trade. I'm back. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the moves. Wait, what do you mean? But we have them all online. Yeah, but I'm, I'm inputting them manually because I don't know. Oh. We still need the analysis board, no? Uh, yeah, but we could just use that link. Well, I, but then I guess... Well, no, we could just use the analysis from the link I sent. We would just put that into analysis board, I think. I don't know. Yeah, well, now we're not doing that. Okay. Now we're doing what I did. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So, um, most of the things we talked about still applies. Although, I do think you should get some handwriting lessons. <laughs> that was pretty, uh, pretty disappointing. <laughs> um, okay, so King D2. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, this makes more sense. This makes much more sense. Wait, I just input all the moves. Why is it not working? Knight c7, bishop d3. You captured the oh, bishop. Oh, so I so never had b5 there. in this position. Yeah, you never well, At least I feel better that that didn't... I didn't miss that. Yeah. I mean, the engine still says that you could have sacrificed on a4. I, I did. I did, was looking at it. Madness. With like rook here, rook defense, yeah, I, bring the bishop. But yeah, then what? And then you double, and then what? But at least you know you have something exciting. Yeah, it's crazy. But I, I, I guess that kind of showcases the power of this B four pawn. Which is so like this sacrifice is only about trying to get this pawn up afterwards. Yep. Um, but I think what you did was more sensible. Um, Wait, I'm just curious. If you were to sack, what would be the plan? Um, Without you looking at computer. So, yeah, and Genesis. Oh, like you'd sack your bishop B5 first. Ball. I didn't realize you were giving your bishop. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, this is badness. Never mind. Yeah, it's no, kind of crazy. No, we can't do that. Uh, but... You know, you retreated your bishop, you admitted your mistake, you're showing that this bishop has a better diagonal than just uh, knocking into your own knight. The rook to the open file, you're blocking with your bishop, attacking the knight, the knight retreats, you make this so, uh, pressure in the center. So earlier we were saying this pawn move, the drawback was that this was the weakness, which... Later, they do still have the bishop g3 threat, but here is it better? Yeah, but I mean, it's different now, oh, right? Oh, because now, now we're there's blundering. no white pieces pointing against this d6 pawn. Yeah, but now that, yeah. if Okay, let's say they didn't have bishop takes c5. What do you mean? Oh, you take the rook. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. Oh, it's not this position. I just... No, you're fine. You're yeah, fine. no, I keep having PTSD to the blunder. This is where it was. Yeah. So 94 scary. year, I mean, you can go... Okay, so there's a threat of knight takes d6. And yeah. a threat of knight takes c4. So you have to play like rook e8 or king f7. Like rook d8, bishop f5, something like this. Yeah, I played this move so quickly. I don't even want to look. Just get it over with. But I didn't see it! Yeah. So rook a8... Uh, he could have now captured yep. one of your pawns, exploiting the fact that your bishops are in trouble along the yep. e-file. Uh, but he didn't do that. Instead, he went for the trade of bishops, which strategically makes a lot of sense, uh, because now your pawn on d6 is not so well protected, and he no longer has to deal with that really strong bishop on the center of the board. Uh, you retreat your bishop... The guy comes in with the rook. You're trying to make a trade for that uh, aggressive rook. Uh, support. The rook comes in, putting itself on the same file as the white king, but also offering support to your bishop and pawn. I think that was sensible play. And then you're coming in with your king to kick the rook out. Uh, there's a trade. Um, yeah. And then we accept draw. Yeah. Because I don't think there was anything. Well, I mean, yeah. would you have played on? But, 
Well, of course I would have played on. The guy was, what, 1800? Okay, if you were me. <laughs> well, after your soul was crushed after thinking you blundered and having the yeah, slowest no, make, game. Making a draw is fine. <laughs> he was not 1800. Okay, you keep judging him by Fide. He was 2000 something USC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I still would have tried to beat a 2000. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you should. I'd be disappointed if you weren't. You'd be fired. If you couldn't beat the two, 1800s. I didn't realize my coaching <laughs> skills were connected to my chess playing skills. Of but. course. We better see okay. some results soon, Hammer. I, I did score 12 wins and one draw in my last 13 games. Wow. That's pretty good. What happened to that draw, though, huh? I don't want to talk about it. I was winning after 20 moves against the London. Against the London? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get. I gained 30 rating points. I'm almost top 100 in the world again. Oh my god! Well, we can talk once yeah. you're top 100 again. <laughs> yeah. Are you better um, than Aryan no, so yet? I, on... Sorry? <laughs> Are you better than Aryan yet? I mean, I'm still better than him. I'm just lower rated. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> So, um, takeaways from this game. Yeah. Do you want to do the summation? Or yes. What? So, opening was okay. Um, yeah, my I played Beautiful Plan, which I knew it, and then I crumbled right here a little bit. Here, I didn't even consider. I immediately dismissed. You, you played the opening so well. I know. I, I just, you need to appreciate kind of what you do well is. Yeah. Like, yeah. this opening was excellent. Yep. And then here I just didn't consider Bishop Takes, which I should think, like, when I find a plan, I should consider maybe doing a forcing move before it and see if it makes the plan better. Because then it would have allowed F4, and it just would have fixed a lot well, of... Well, it, it's mostly about the white pawns, right? And how the white pawns needed to be a, a kind of attack to, for the bishop to get into play. And like you said, like your plan gets the logic of the position. Yeah. Because you did try to remove those pawns. Yeah. You just failed. I, so what is the takeaway from this then? Well, I mean, just that, you know, sometimes you can give away bishops, I guess. That's it? Or, or like... The, the F5 move weakened the squares that the knight was kind of controlling. Uh, so there was a certain logic to getting rid of the knight before pushing forward. But I thought it had to do with the light squares or the dark squares. But now it doesn't seem how to do with either. You had like a really good explanation of the light squares and the dark squares and how that tied into the trade, but I... I don't remember. Oh, no. Well, then I don't remember either. What do you mean you don't remember? <laughs> You're the coach. Well, I mean, like, I, I think what I said was the, the knight on h3. Uh, for some reason, my, my position <laughs> isn't updating to, to yours. Um, but, yeah, the, the knight on h3, it was controlling these two squares, right? Okay. Oh, well, I mean, that um, was simple. There was, like, a good explanation about why here we could trade the bishops. Because we were going to, even though we're blocked on the light squares, that means they're... <sighs> you, you said it very well, but... And then it may, and then I didn't understand it when you first said it, but then when we started analyzing, it made more sense, but then I forgot. I, uh, yeah, so, I mean, here, just these two white pieces are so bad because they're being blocked by their own pawns in every direction. Yeah, okay. I mean, if the if the explanation for bishop taking the knight is the goal to get the pawn on f4 to fix the, the pawns here and trap the knight, then that's much more reasonable. Yeah, it's, it's part of the plan. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's this. Oh, how do I go back to well, the game? Now I really wish I knew... <laughs> we can go back to the VOD. Here. It's okay. I'll, I'll look in the VOD. Like, it didn't quite click with me in the moment. That's why I didn't remember it. But then it clicked with me later, but I couldn't remember word by word what you said. Okay. 
but it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll move on. So, there was that. This, you said this bishop move didn't really have purpose, but I don't think it really had anything much else to do. Right, it's better on this diagonal, but I don't know what else I could have done, so I'm not convinced. Well, you did, can we agree that you did spend a move later on to move it back? Which is fine, because what else am I going to do than go back and forth in this position? Oh, someone found it. He said that them having all the pawns on white squares limits your bishops more than trapping their own. Oh, yeah. That, was, that, was, that was it. Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> even though they have all their pawns on light squares, that makes <laughs> their light squared bishop bad, but it also makes your light squared bishop bad. Yes, which is why it was good to trade the bishop. Aha. Yeah. Thank you, chatter. All right. Amazing. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, no, but I, I think in general, I, I, I think you're very negative about this game. I thought it was pretty good. And, uh, yeah, no, I think you played the opening really well. And uh, you had some really good opportunities to, to win. Okay, we'll take that. We don't need to look over the rest of this. No more takeaways. That's good enough. Yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, you have about 30 minutes left. Do you think we can squeeze in one more game, or what do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do another okay, game. Okay, let me move my fan real quick. My number one fan. Uh, oh, it's... Uh, you wanted to uh, save the, PG, uh, the, the analysis, no? Oh, she's not there. Ow. Did you want to save oh. the analysis? Well, I'm pretty sure I put in this game 100% accurately, but if we also want the game is online. But I, I'm pretty sure we could use my manually put in game as well. Well, I, I just... Hmm? Yeah, I, I just downloaded it on chess.com. I'll just... Okay, uh, okay. Give it to you, send it to you. Okay. I, I, it's good if we kind of keep some of the game analysis, even if... Um, oh, you mean like save this one? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing is, I don't know, it doesn't do the variation save. Thank you, Yippee Man, for the prime. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. You just press okay. the uh, arrow down. It says download. Okay. And then you download the current PGN. Okay. Uh, wait. Ah, did you save it? I didn't. Uh, yeah, I did. I sent it. Oh, to I downloaded it. Okay. Okay. I downloaded it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm ready for the next. One. Okay. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Uh, I, I. Ah, uh, it's okay. I download. Well, I'll figure it out later. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So another game. Another King's Indian. Uh, and this time he goes for the London system thing. Oh, this game. Yeah, we could just... We no, could this is a very important game. Yeah. It's a, also a very interesting game. Yeah. Uh, honestly, maybe should have started with this. Honestly, I should have been quicker for the previous game. <laughs> um, yeah, so H3, uh, getting ready to get the bishop out of dodge. You know this because you play this opening. Yep. We can just skip all the way up until queen b6 because that's my yeah, line. Yeah, no, because, I mean, honestly, yeah, your opening was just so good. In general, your openings were very, very, very good. And then I um, fucked it up. I mean, yeah, you messed up the, the London... The, this London line with the knight d4, you kind of messed up a couple of times, but... Yeah, that's for uh, another day. In, in, ge in general, like, your openings were very, very good. Yeah, and no, this that's is my... not thanks to me, because, like, none of these lines we looked this at This is my together. line from high school. Yeah. I brought yeah. out the old books. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's working. It's just that, like, you're so negative. Yeah. Even despite kind of you getting your own stuff and, and getting decent situations. I just... So up, up until this situation, it was all your prep, right? Yep, and it the was. the engine is already saying advantage for black. Damn. 
Yeah. Like, your openings are, are good. And then I panicked because I... This is... I don't know why. Whenever I think of theory, I for some reason, I the, the line I studied instead of, like, A3, they're supposed to push C4 here. So then I thought, oh, because they didn't push C4. No, they're not supposed to go C4. Uh, then I, I must have no idea why you thought that. A3 was prop. Yeah, for some reason I thought so. So I thought, like, I was supposed to punish that. I don't know where I got that from. Yeah, no, but, like, C4 makes absolutely no sense. Cause the, and this is weird to me because, like, this London system is your own opening. So you should know kind of the strategy here. Yeah, no, like, I wasn't thinking th logically. This entire thing, this entire thing is all about the, the dark squared bishop for black. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't play that It's all about as... the dark squared bishops. These white pawns are trying to stop the bishop from ever having a future. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. I don't... I. So, like, if they go C4, that's suicidal in terms of just allowing black to get that pressure opening up for the bishop. And leaving your two isolated doubled pawns? What do you mean? Well, oh, you're, oh, sorry, I thought you meant you take on d4. You mean you don't take Well, right you away. can take on d4 now, but, like, you can also just well, you'll get forked. the pressure. You can't play knight c6. You get forked. Yeah. <laughs> Hammer's thinking. Uh, yeah. Well, where were you going with this then? <laughs> no, but I mean, no, but I, the the principle remains. Like here, this black bishop is dead. Like it has no future. And when you go c4, like the potential of this bishop just increases massively. And it's very strange to me that like London is the only opening you play <laughs> and it's not kind of in your bones. That white would never go c4. Yeah, no. In a yeah. situation where that bishop is already fianchettoed. Yeah, that's that's. But okay, what would you play against this? Like after a3. Knight d7. Yeah, it, it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, so I mean, I I I told you this plan, right? What plan? Knight a6, knight c7. Oh. I think I'm not following you any- Ah! Can you make a move? I lost you. Uh, I, I did make a move. I lost you. Yeah, I lost you as well. Oh, no. Uh, could you re- and Should I leave and join again? Uh, maybe. I, I tried to ah, refresh. Did that Could you work? invite me again? Yeah. Sorry. Someone- One chatter gets what you're saying. Well, that's good. It's 1.30 a.m. in Norway, so he's hammered. Yeah, we won't drag this on too much longer. Okay. So. You were saying... Oh, that's the plan. If they go c4. Then we go knight a6, knight c7. Oh, yeah, that's pretty logical. Yeah, that's a good square for the knight. You're muted, hammer. <laughs> Sorry, every time I press, I think, zero, <laughs> I mute myself because I, for some reason, I figured out that zero was like a good... No, it's six. I think my mute button on Discord is six. Camera is so getting when tired. When your username is Mo, ba Mo Bamba 604 <laughs> that's very unfortunate. <laughs> it, it would be beneficial for me if you changed it to like five. I can't. 504 does not resonate with my home, Hammer. We've talked about this. We did. Okay, so, well, in general, Black's, one of Black's main plans here is to try and play the move B5. Um, and this position is all about the square D5. You would love to have a knight on, on the D5 square. And yeah. in order to make that happen, you, uh, you probably want to go B5 to prevent White from going C4 at an opportune moment. Not immediately, but sometime in the future. So, one of the main choices here for uh, white, for black, is to make the trade on d4. Now, Alexandra thought this was very illogical, which it doesn't I must make sense. Admit, yeah, it, there is a certain um, surprise value to it. But 
the the one of the ideas is just forcing white to choose which pawn to recapture with which gives us a lot of information on how we want to proceed afterwards mm, okay the normal way of playing would be to recapture with the e pawn because that's what you uh, yeah. do in the london right yeah but then now the square on d5 would be accessible as long as we prevent white from going c4 what? and that's why a plan like knight c uh knight a6 and and knight c7 is so effective because then we manage to get this b5 move we take control over the c4 square and now d5 is ours for yeah eternity and here, black is much better because of that. This is crazy. Five square. It's still very hard for me to justify isolated doubled pawns. How do you attack those, though? I mean, they're under attack right now by the bishop, which means you can you have to use your well, knight. Which to is defend. why we spent so much time with the knight. Well, yeah, I guess he's using a bishop to attack, so that's okay, but. No, but it's not about like I understand that this pawn is. It's vulnerable, but it's it's protected. But you need also to see that in the context of what we have achieved. Like, what we have achieved is a square on D5 where there are no white pawns to chase us away. This is going to be a square for our knight for the rest of the game. They cannot chase us off that square. And, like, even if they try... Yeah, that's true. You got that reserve knight. But now what else right? are you going to do? Um, I mean, okay, so we can reroute, reroute this bishop. bishop to protect these pawns you were scared of. Yeah. And then you just advance in the center. Like, these pawns okay. here, just get them up the board. No, this makes sense. This makes sense. Okay. And, and it's very important to realize that, yes, our bishop is still being uh, dis disrupt, um, stopped by these white pawns. But notice also how we have some pawns doing the same thing to white's bishop. Yeah. Which is why in these setups, it, you very often want to uh, avoid pushing your pawn forward. Oh, because it helps Because this pawn on bishop. d6 has a very important job oh. restricting white's bishop. Ooh, I never thought of that. But, I mean, white also has a really strong square at the center, so their knight is practically equal to mine. <clears throat> you kick him out. But now you have a weakness on e7, but then we're going to push. Well, we can't yet. Well, in time, <clears throat> we're going to push. So you prepare that. Yeah, no, but this like, is nice. Uh, yeah, we have so much time. Like, we'll come here with the king. We're pushing our pawns. We're going to get the rook into the center. And in time, we will try to push Push here. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. This is an important position to understand. I've never thought about this. <clears throat> but I, I think it, it relates to what the puzzles we were doing, right? The positional puzzles and, and how we need to be aware of squares where our pieces can be placed without ever getting kicked. Yeah, So this, I of see. course, is a very tricky example of that requiring yeah. this trade to kind of do that thing but honestly your move c4 like com the computer hated it but i thought it was interesting still so one of the reasons i think you should be highly critical of this is that you release the pressure on the d4 pawn which makes your bishop even more problematic yes there's now even less hope of your bishop getting into the game. However, what you do accomplish with this move is trying to get your knight to d5. Because you're blocking oh, yeah. the chance for Yeah, but then e4 threat out. is preventing that. Yeah. So if this had been kind of a logical sequence you had come up with and kind of figured out that, hmm, this is an interesting move because I want to secure d5 for my knight. I wouldn't criticize it, but I mean that is I did matters. I did secure d five for my knight, didn't I? You did, but by accident because context matters. You played c four because you thought you were punishing white for not playing c four themselves. Thanks, awesome. 
yeah, that's so. That's so true. you weren't considering what's good about this move, what's good in my position. You were just like faulty thinking you knew what just, was going on, and instead of taking a breather and trying to kind of think for yourself, you were basing all your thoughts on what you thought was pre uh, existing knowledge, which turned out to be wrong. Yeah, that that's well put. But also, I just okay. Majority of my reasoning, it was me doing that, thinking it was right without actually thinking it through. However, it just it seemed like I could gain so much space by like connecting these pawns. I don't know if I wanted d five, um, and it seemed like I could have prevented e four with like, uh, maybe not bishop f five, but I thought that if I could fix these pawns. It was just a free opportunity to get space, and I wouldn't get punished for it. Yes, and I would believe that explanation if not for the fact that you never played b5. Well, it was very tricky. I mean, d5, because if I would have done b5 right away, there was then there was something. Then they would go a4, I think. Well, e4, I assume. Uh, or e4, yeah. Yeah. So exactly. here, so I B5, saved it for later. I thought, was the best move by far. And Wait. the reasoning for that is that your bishop right now is struggling with these um, kind of diamond formation of the pawns, right? Yeah. So now you're, it's very difficult for you to kind of ever open up for your bishop. However, if you were to be able to provoke white into playing this e4 move, then it would be easier for you to get your bishop into the game. Because now, now you go d5. The idea being, the difference is, white doesn't want to trade because then you get the d5 square forever and ever. But isn't me helping them push e5 good for white? Well, the thing is, here... Earlier, you had a situation where your bishop was pointing towards a pawn that was protected by two pawns. Whereas here, when you now move your knight, this pawn is only protected by one pawn. And because you've provoked it further forward, you're, it's now much easier for you to break down that pawn structure. I see. Yeah, that seems kind of counterintuitive because you think once you create a whole pawn chain on the diagonal... You think you've just made the bishop worse, but I didn't think about f6. No, so it's all about the further up your opponent's pawns get, the easier it is for you to trade them off. So, gotcha. like, in, in this position, you just go f6 next move, and, and you're kind of... I mean, your bishop is not great still, for sure, but you have that uh, extra control in the center, and, and you've, um, you've done a bit of a good job of, of yeah, <laughs> of opening up a little bit. It's, it's not amazing <laughs> still, but the, the principle of it. I feel like you're starting that, to turn back on what you thought was a good plan. No, here. no, no. I'm not turning back on it. I'm, I'm, this is a, a fine position for black. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying... Your bishop is, is still bad. Yeah. It's just, it's easier to deal with here where you have some easy ways of, of yeah. creating play. Yeah. As opposed to this situation we had here where your I bishop see. is just constantly not doing anything. Yeah, that's a fair point. And also, when you play d5, um, you know, you're giving up on this entire idea of getting your knight to the d5 square. Uh, yeah, I just thought I had to do it to prevent e4. I thought I didn't yeah. have a choice. Um, and also, you know, I we talked about this in an earlier line, but it, it does open up a bit more for, for the white bishop. All I'm saying is this and this. And d5, they don't... Oh, they have to push. Oh, no. Uh, the, technically, they could play this, which is kind of the same... Which is kind of similar... What? Why are you face bombing? Kind of similar. Uh, to, kind of similar to what? Uh, but, 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 to this. 
So you were saying D5. No, it's completely different. You were saying my move D5 right away is not good because it's taking the room for the knight. And you were saying, oh, B5, E4. But here, I'm taking the room for the knight, and then you're justifying it by this position because then maybe we could break through with F6. But they yeah. don't have to push here. They could do this. Knight g5, I moved my bishop. What are you going to do now? Well, now your whole argument that my move was bad and this plan was better is kind what of like the same about? thing. Are you going to castle now? Uh, What do you mean? White? What is gonna... White's next move? Mm, I guess you're threatening this. I'm threatening pawn takes e4. I mean, sure, I might be winning a pawn with h6. Which is also good, but like <laughs> my threat is to take this pawn and get my knight to d five. Oh, okay, so I guess that's Ev how they have everything to I want to do is get the knight to d five by delaying mm -hmm. this d five push. I've I've forced I forced white into going e five because white cannot allow this trade because yeah. then the knight will come into d five, and by forcing that pawn forward, I make it easier for black to trade off that pawn afterwards. Yeah, okay. Okay, I see the difference. And then, like, just to give a, an example of some of the ideas that can exist in such a situation, if white here goes, like, h4, the move b4 is really powerful. Uh, c takes... And then knight's fork. Oh. Right? Yeah. Okay. And this you get, this option you get because you force the white pawn forward. Had yeah. the white pawn okay. been back where it started, you never would have had any such tricks to, to put uh, pressure on that d4 pawn. But by forcing this pawn up, we're opening up more opportunities to kind of get in behind the pawns. Yeah, no, th this is a good lesson. It's hard for me to understand. Now I get it more why, like, my pawn d5 is not good, but in the position where you're forcing them to push e5, it's better. Because typically when you feel like your opponent is advancing your pawns farther, you feel like that's them getting space and it's better for them. Kind of w why in the beginning, like, I thought c4 was just obviously, like, a natural move but now i see how it's a weakness and it's not so one of the big good. differences is that white cannot play b3 without just creating a ton of weaknesses whereas you can play f6 yeah to challenge their pawn okay i get it this is a good good lesson about pawn okay we can continue um yeah so you play d5 um g4 was just a fantastic move by this guy really uh, in general i want to say that this guy played incredibly well this game i didn't think i i wasn't sure if g4 was the best move i, I but i guess i don't I know think, actually I know it, it really, really yeah because then it just uh, yeah it made the center push very strong and my bishop could no longer come here i thought maybe i could punish it because i thought maybe now Potentially later, I would get like an h5 using h3, and now he can't castle, so I thought maybe it was a weakening move. Yeah. No, I think it was a good restricting move. Yeah. And here, I really wanted to see you play b5. Interesting. Oh. Because this is the plan you should have been going for. I wonder why I didn't push b5. Um, I th was it? There was I thought it was very strange. There was something I was B5 scared about. B5 just makes perfect sense also. I played H6. Giving extra protection. What was I scared of? Oh, I played H6 to prevent this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because I think I thought he was threatening G5. And then, and then he would push. I'm trying to remember. I think I was scared of this. Knight. Okay, but I mean, if you're afraid of e4 at any point, that's just completely wrong thinking, right? Because e4 would be a massive mistake in basically every situation, mm. because then you can take and get this d5 square. Well, not once your knight is kicked away by g5. Well, I, sure. You just put the bishop there instead. 
Mm. Massive advantage for black. Oh, yeah, this is actually, this is very good. I don't know why I was scared of G5 for some reason. I'm, I had better reasoning then, but I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> let me think. Maybe it wasn't justified. Yeah, so B5, it's worth just keeping in mind. Just reinforcing the pawn structure, but also in particular this plan of getting the knight up into an attacking position is uh, is very good. Yeah, no, I had like a very big reason why I didn't do it here, but yeah, okay, got it. I did miss this plan. <clears throat> okay, we can continue. Yeah. Uh, also, h6 is bad because it weakens the g6 pawn. And you kind of faced a lot. You, The guy was very good at exploiting that inaccuracy. So not only are you spending a move on something you didn't really need to do, you're also weakening your own position. Because now with the knight coming into f e5, it's more difficult for you to use your pawn to kick that knight away. Makes sense. Yeah, that's true. And here yeah, I would I like know. to see you just. I don't know to why I pushed immediately. Ah, I feel like I'm missing so many things, but I thought very deeply about this position. Here, knight f d seven. What and I did bishop. What did I? What did I play instead? Oh, I just went knight to c six, and yeah. you wanted to see this instead. Yeah, I just want to challenge the knight. Right away. And notice how I want to use this uh, knight I didn't move. Uh, I already moved because yeah. I also want to open up for the bishop. Um, and would you... Okay, uh, what would they... I guess maybe they would defend... What would they play here? Knight here? Or let's say they play the same thing. Well, I guess I am threatening to take, so they have to defend. Well... So they do this, right? Um... Yeah, maybe. And now, wouldn't you have to do this anyway? I maybe would be tempted to go to g5. And then what? f6. Really? What? f6? Are you planning to go f5 later? No. You're just gonna close in your bishop? Well, I'm, I'm getting rid of this knight. Yeah, I guess. You take the knight. But I mean, now you're bishop. Yeah. You're just going to accept but that. But I got, I got rid of the knight. Yeah, but uh, the sacrifice of an entire piece. Just seems wrong. <clears throat> yeah, but I can get the bishop into play later on. How? I don't think you can. Oh, you're pushy six. And then it goes where? Yeah, e7. I'm not sure. This bishop isn't really my main concern. This bishop is kind of holding things together. I'm not... I'm, I'm going to go bet. here, 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 here. Like, there's so much potential in improving the other pieces before I need to deal with this guy. I want to know if computer likes this position better or knight c6 better. They like I mean, mine. Yeah, but you don't have a like a plan to follow up here. Um, I'm I, sure I, I, I have I genuinely a plan. prefer this situation because Black's plan is so easy to kind of grasp. I don't know and if I, I could mean, accept. I also this. have the potential of pushing e five some point in the Bye, future. Scott. Honestly, I'm really surprised by the engine really liking white maybe meat. i didn't give him enough time. i think this looks looks completely fine for me i don't know this looks hideous i mean once you get that plan maybe but yeah okay uh hmm, hmm, thinking well let's look at what happened in the game and yeah see if this other plan maybe prevented that okay Sure. Okay, so he went bishop f3. For some reason, you're still holding... B no, here I you did went it. Yeah, I had to defend right this because now he's threatening this. Oh, I remember why I didn't want to retreat this knight because I needed this knight to control the e4 square. Yeah, but then you're afraid of the move. I want white And here, actually. No, no, no. No, no, because you want your knight to use this square, right? 
Mm, yeah, but like I'm like even in this situation we analyzed, right? Yeah. Uh, here, like if if White does something to try and go e4. Like I, I am so happy if they go e4. Because I, I want to get my knight up here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I can't argue that I like this better. It's hard. Yeah. For me to accept. <laughs> okay. Um. So they castled, and now you made a big mistake. Oh, Which is yeah. really interesting because it's the same mistake you made in the previous game. Yeah, well, okay, here was my logic. So my plan, because I had no plan, was to double the rooks here anyway. And yeah. then I thought, I mean, here I don't really waste a turn because, I mean, if I provoke his bishop to d1, then he's going to want to go back anyways. So, and I, I thought maybe having control over b4 once again in the hope that Maybe I yeah. squeeze a push. It'd pay but off, like, but I didn't see a drawback. If you're going to get b4, that's just as likely to happen with your rook still on a8. Like, this b4 push, the, the rook is not helping doing that. Yeah, well, if I did, like, rook a7, if you wanted is to that double, any better? You or rook gone a6? To a different square also. But does it really make... That's my question. Like, does it make much of a difference if I go to, like, a6 and double, or if I go a4, provoke the bishop back, and then go to a6... Well, I mean, the bishop getting to c2 was a big problem for oh, him. Oh, yeah, true. That was a really good maneuvering for him. No, that's true. I underestimated this diagonal a lot. True. Uh, and it's about this pawn on g6, right? Yeah. It's all about making it more difficult for you to chase away the, the black knight, which is why you needed to keep your pawn further back so that it would be easier for you to kick out the Yeah. The no, now that I think that I gave them the c2 square, that makes sense. But regardless, I don't think, like, you're doubling up yeah. on a pawn that's defended by another But pawn. then what else do you do? I, it, was this, it was actually the same thing, now that I remember, the same thing as last game, where I didn't have a plan and I didn't know what to do, so I just double yeah, rooks on the This is why I'm saying, I, at least in this situation, you have a very clear plan on how to improve. You can that's say fair. that the computer doesn't really like this for, for black, but at least here you know what you're doing. If you're just saying here, I didn't know what to do, so I made a mistake. That just illustrates that it's more important to find... Ugh, I just hate these type of positions. They're terrible. They're no fun. But in that case, I think it makes absolutely no sense that you play d5. Because by playing d5, you're making sure that there will be no pawn traits. If you go b5 instead, at least you have some hope of getting e5 yeah. in the future. Yeah, no, d5. And then you're going to get, like, some pawn trades or something. Or, like, e4, like we studied, and then this pawn pushes up, and at least, you know, we're going to be able to trade off this e5 pawn. If you're saying you hate closed positions, playing d5 here makes no sense, because now you're just never getting any pawn trades at any yeah, point. Yeah, no, I get it now. I, 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 for some reason, thought I had to prevent e4. But now I understand that it's good for us if they push e4. So, my thinking has changed. Yeah, okay. This was just tough. Yeah, I played... Uh, the, the rook maneuver is always... That's how you know I've lost hope and I don't know what to do. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I would have still liked... I don't remember what I was advocating here. I, I guess I wanted takes and then just... You, you're trying to get the trades. I mean, but they just go back. Or maybe okay. they take. No, back makes more sense, right? Because your bishop yeah, is Yeah, this still bishop's back. better. But, but, like, here you're doing something. Yeah, right? and then once you attack that, they defend, and then what? Well, like, what are they going to do? Yeah. Well, push e4. Like, if... White is going to push e4 here. You take and you get your bishop to a great p placement where it cannot be chased. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, the escape is hard for me uh, too. Yeah, no, I mean, I think one of your main mistakes was just not realizing that you need to get rid of this knight on e5 as quickly as possible. Right. And I mean, I would say that already here, right? Yeah. Um, but also in the continuation, that and knight just just because it's really strong. There. Yeah, it makes sense. Gotcha. Which I mean, I could take, but they do h. What do I play here? Yeah. Well, right now, like taking it, it, it becomes worse after a while. Like here, when the bishop has retreated, it means that now you have this potential for pushing oh, yeah. up the pawns. I also, this. like taking with the pawn, this Thanks was a very this, important strategic feature of the position for quite a long time. Taking with the pawn would open up the square d4 for white's knight. Yeah. So that there were many situations where you couldn't do that because the knight would then come up. Which is why the move bishop g3 was a really good move by him. Or, yeah, rather, yeah. well, he should have gone here first, right? Yeah. He run here first and then put the bishop So many back. things I didn't understand about now, the position. Because now, if any trades, you can take back with the knight. And there's you have to deal Wait, with the potential but if of, you, Earlier when you this. wanted me to take, like right here, oh, so they didn't have yeah. that. They didn't have that anymore because this is being blocked, right? So they didn't want to take with a pawn because they don't have time to... Well, can't, like, if they wanted to take... Oh, no, I'm just winning the pawn. Okay, I see yeah. why it doesn't work earlier. Okay. Oh, okay, I understand. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to come back to this game. There's a lot to learn from this game. Yeah. No, and also, I, I mean, <clears throat> what, I, I, what I was telling uh, Alexandra when, um, when you were doing the post-game interview, this guy played the game really, really well. Yeah, in the I, moment, I, I, I didn't think, think he was. I legit think he played but... it at a 2300 level. Now that I'm looking at it, I honestly just had a really hard time understanding this position. But now that I, like, when he did things like bishop g3, I didn't think that did much. I didn't think this was a good move, but now I see, it, like, it paid off a lot with that. So, yeah, I think at the time I didn't really understand his play as much as I do now. Yeah. And also here, like bishop h6, you're trying to get some pressure. And the guy offers the bishop trade. I mean, how good is that? Yeah, I understand. Because if you now so make the trade, you, you're getting trouble on the on the e file. Yeah. Like, he he that had was a really, really impressive game. Yeah, I was kind of stuck. Uh, this game is painful. And like, if you go for this, then you kind of, yeah. Yeah, no, You're I, very much on the I looked defensive. at this. Yeah, it was bad. So you 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 avoid the trade. But, but even then, now, you know, I'm like, I don't know what to do now. Weakness. Yeah, I didn't want to push H4. I didn't want to take. I mean, yeah, here I was. Well, I I assume you have to take just on and, account of. And then and give him like King G2 and Rook here. Well, I, I think still you just you oh, gotta make the trade. My worry right? was this F4 threat after this take. So, uh, no, no. So you take, yeah. So take, take, and then I, I come to D7, right? Yeah. And now F4. Well, then this is same. Oh, yeah, they can't do it yet. Um, can they defend? But, I mean, F4 must be coming at some point. And, like, this bishop, ah, it's just, I feel like there's nothing I could have done here. It's get out of the mess no but like now you're threatening this oh, you can do it right when away. they go f4 you're taking the pawn um yeah that's true yeah why did i i could take this pawn take 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 hmm hmm so like you just at some point you need to get rid of this knight yeah. And, like, you still have a bad position, but it's difficult for white to, to break through. Yeah, no, this is more solid. I, 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 might, I don't remember every line I looked up, but I looked at this stuff, and for some reason I thought it wouldn't work. Yeah. But this was a decent plan. I mean, you, 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 but, like, now you can <clears throat> compare this situation with the other time we looked at this, right? With, yeah, uh, oh, with, with the bishop, situation. yeah, I see. 
So it seems like that's kind of like the only way for black to unravel ends up being in a structure like this. Well, I mean, you could you could help yourself by not playing H6, right? Yeah. If you go B5 here, yeah. and then if the knight comes into E5, you just m try to get that trade immediately, it would probably make life a bit easier. Yeah, because... Wait, but I, I still don't so understand like, why... Pushing you... these pawns in the center is still something you're trying to do. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is going to take me a little bit to understand... But I'm going to keep coming yeah, back yeah. to this game. No, it was a super interesting game. This is an important game to study. My brain is getting a little bit slow. And I need to take my yeah. vitamins. But I'm going to come back to this. Because there's a lot to understand about this position. Yeah. But I, I think in general, he just played a really good game. I don't think you have any oh, I mean, here it was yeah. about this. Game. Now it was kind of... Oh, yeah. Here I like... Did, I mean, his yeah, plan but I so really obvious. liked your idea of just trying to evacuate the king. Yeah, I, I thought but it would. I, I, I really dislike this rook. Like, imagine if when you retreated this rook, to a you had gone to a a. I thought of that. Yeah, I don't that know. That would have made your life so much easier. I seem to place my rooks wrong all the time. I think I'm trying to understand what the reasoning was, like to defend this pawn or, well, you or wanted it was to B six and. Rooks, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that is why. And then I just never got time. But you're trying to double against, yeah, a pawn defended by a different pawn. It's like well, you're never making well, a break. Because the plan is B4. But then they just move, and it's yeah, over. Yeah, they just move. Yeah, no, I, I, in the last two games, thanks, Almero, for the seven months, I, I always overestimate the B4 plan because they just ruined my whole plan. But the it. B4 plan would have more merit if this E pawn was forced off the board, right? Because right now this pawn is... Oh, right, because then B4 would be people. weak. Got it. Yeah. So so B4 is good when yeah when you have a weakness on the other pawn that this pawn's defending. Okay. Got it. Oops. Well, that. and also in general, right? You want to place your pawns on dark squares to kind of challenge this really center, right? Because yeah. Honestly, your main problem in the position and what it has been from very, very early on is that your bishop never finds a good roll because it's being blocked by the white pawns. Yeah. It's a really good illustration of this uh, London pawn structure and how it restricts the the bishop. Which is why we don't want to push c4. Um, yeah. Well, pushing c4 makes it more difficult to kind of open up for our 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 bishop. But like even in this situation, like if if your rook was already on uh, a eight, yeah, now you could easily like go for the trade on the yeah. side. Yeah, like it's not so easy for white to win still. Yeah, that's but, true. But the problem kind of became that you had to face it this pressure in the center, and you had to face all the threats up here. Yeah, I see. But like now. He, here, you didn't have to blunder. You didn't have to help him. By making the trade, you could have gone rook h8, trying to just defend, and you're still in it. Uh, like it's still difficult. Oh, you for take you with the bishop. This. Uh, take, take, wait, take. Oh, because here. Well, you, you can compare this situation with this, right? Yeah. I mean, this isn't is it what still you lost? did. You allowed the knight to come up. And here, yeah. you you have the bishop ready, and you're trying to make trades on the side. And well, there, there's a really fascinating continuation here that's kind of impossible to find. But, like, where you can give up this pawn, oh, but then... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, I see. And, and here, somehow, black is okay. Yeah, I think I was in time pressure when I took and I. Yeah, no, you you defeat. were definitely in time pressure, which is yeah. natural because it was a really difficult strategic game. Yeah. Uh, I but I'm just saying, like, there's always opportunities to to kind of save the game. Yeah. So you you just you never surrender. You just continue making good decisions, and here by making the trade, you're allowing the knight to come up. I assume. I'm not sure what you thought that he would take with the pawn and give up this. 
but you, you allowed his knight to get into the game and attack on g5, and then it was just over. Yeah, I, I just, I, yeah, I, I, at this point I'd given up. I thought even if I didn't take, I was losing. But yeah, yeah. rook h8, I don't think I even considered rook h8. I, I just, I saw some threat here and assumed. But yeah. Ugh, okay, I need to come back to this game. Yeah, no, but it, it was a really interesting game. I think he played really well, and I don't think you... I don't think there's anything to kind of be afraid of or ashamed of. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's it's just it's crazy to me. Now I understand better that, like, how weakening D5 is and that this is good. I think that's the biggest takeaway for me because it's very, like... Um, I don't know, against my instincts. But I'll come back to this because my I'm getting yeah. a little tired. But I'm gonna come back to this game. This is an important game. Okay. Okay, Hammer. Thank you for the recap. We Are you gonna shall do some continue. Puzzles? Yes, I'm gonna go grab some medicine. And take like a five minute break because I can feel. I need to blow my nose and spit out my mucus and then I'm going to do my puzzles and maybe maybe play one or two games. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, Hammer. Have a good night. Thank okay. you so much for joining See us. See everyone. Bye. All right. I'm going to take Bye. out my... Yep. I got it. Bye, Hammer. Bye. See you later. All right, chat. I need... I, I'm sick, if you can't tell, and it's starting to catch up to me. I'm going to go run and grab some cough syrup. I'm going to put on... An epic YouTube video. I've only put it on a couple times already. Um, but I'll be back in like five minutes. I just need to grab some headache meds and some juice or something for my throat. Okay. I'm going to put this on. I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to sprint. How do I... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The last game is really important and I want to go over it a little bit more. Actually, we should put chair cam. Oops. I want to go over it more, but like my, I, I can just tell myself getting tired because I'm sick. And, like, I'm not thinking at full capacity, so I'm going to come back. Oh, I need to download this. I need to download this so I don't forget. This one's important. Okay. All right, chat. We'll be right back. Not COVID. I have some cold from VidCon. I've tested many times. Ah, shit. I spoiled it. Frick. Eh, it's fine. All right. Why does this look so scuffed? Okay. Okay, chat. I'll be right back. Oh, thanks, Hammer. Thank you, Hammer. Have a good night.
I'm back. My chat's enjoying the video. I have to make my emergency. Oh shit, I'm blocking the good stuff. Well, nah, it's just me and my sister, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, it's just Alex. <laughs> Amaranth. Amaranth mode, what? You know what, something... Alright guys, if you like the video, you know where to find it. Only worked... Uh, only worked three months. I'm going to make my vitamins and getting into the pool. <laughs> Literally only hiding yourself and Alex. Um, uh, the, the feedback on this video was really nice. I feel like a freaking degenerate, like pouring my old gallon jug into this. But I need to get, I have plenty of vitamin C. <laughs> you guys know emergency? I don't know if it actually does anything, but. All right. No, I don't know where you got that. Oh, pool. What? Oh, I was going to say, you know what's funny? What was it? What was your feedback, food stamps? When you search up chess. Oh, God. Shit. Fuck. Ah. Stop. What is this? Wait, oh, this is my puzzles, that's why. Stop it, okay. Look, ah! Oh, sorry, it's so loud. Thank you for subbing to Fan House. Vila, could you turn down the noise? I hate, oh, no offense, chess.com, but I don't like your update. It's, it's, like, annoyingly spaced out. Okay, all right, I downloaded this. We have it saved, and Hammer sent it. Uh, well, can't believe. I guess if you want to know... Then you can, aww, UNLV Chess, then you can click that link. Thank you for the five subs. I'm guessing that's Kevin. I'm going to get some tunes. Some tunes are always good. Uh, never mind. Why every time? Dude, Spotify. I'm going to, I'm going to rage. It always stops working when I stream. This is so upsetting. I was so excited. Um, I'm supposed to do a DJ stream Friday. I don't know. Well, I mean, I also plan to workout stream, but I'm going to have to cancel that and cancel my workout tomorrow because I'm sick. But DJ stream, I probably could still do. Oh, we're, on, we're in Alex's Spotify. <laughs> of course, her latest, her latest podcast is Call Her Daddy and then a poker podcast. <laughs> I kind of want to listen to Alex's playlist because she's always on my Spotify and I get mad, but now I'm on her Spotify. Okay, no, we're going to... Iggy Azalea? Really? She was listening to Iggy Azalea? Okay, this is question some questionable decisions, Alex. I'm going to log into my, my Spotify. I have to use the stupid web version because... I don't know why it never works when I try to stream. You guys don't know Iggy Azalea? Oh, you'll know Iggy Azalea. All you need is one song. Come on. Please. Can you hear me? 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 Oh my god, I've been using the wrong mic this entire stream. I was using... I was supposed to use this mic. Does it sound better? Or maybe in the other scene. I don't know, man. Thank you, Michael. Which one? Alright. So. If you're new here... No, please don't... Oh my god, if it's delayed, I'm gonna... I'm going to actually... Throw something. Your ears are bleeding? Look, now we can... I can whisper. 
All right, I'm juiced up. Look, I got this, and I got my vitamins. This tastes gross. Mike is too loud. I turned down. I do know how to whisper. This is a mango turmeric lemon. It's kind of gross. It tastes bad. But I'm drinking it. All right. All right. It's time. I need some. No, I need. I need some upbeat. I need some upbeat tunes. Turmeric is good. When you're sick, I think. I don't know. So my mom says. Oh, I have to do my puzzles. Shit. I. I just. I feel so powerful having two drinks. This morning, an animal broke into my meal prep, and you know what's funny? It only ate the dessert, which was really depressing, because that was the only part of my meal prep that I look forward to. Okay, we're going to warm up with some three minutes. Hello, Hammer. A Marina remix. You really like Marina the Diamonds, don't you? Okay, I need like a good focus song. This might be better. You know what song I've really been enjoying? This song. I just love the piano. It's so beautiful. No, it was like a probably like a raccoon or minx. They're kind of the same thing. I'm so excited we're watching Attack on Titans today. I just realized it got awfully dim in here. Uh-oh. My mom didn't know I'm sick. She kept telling me to sleep this weekend and I kept saying, "No, mom, I'm fine." And my mom was right in the end. Okay. The lighting. Oh, it's cuz my ring light what the f- I don't- How, What happened to the light? Alright, puzzle time. Feels like it got darker. Oh yeah, it probably did because the sun went down, even though I'm in a garage. You'd think that- Alright. Sorry, chat. We're gonna warm up. Alex doesn't like bright lights, she always turns them dim. Do, 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 do. Right, then we'll be like Alex. We're gonna warm up. Three minutes. Here's some puzzles, and then we're going to hit our high score, high score in blitz, and we're gonna stop while we're up, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I do need to get out of the garage. There's a lot of things we need to do, and that's one of them on my list. All right. Ah, but a bit of Oh god. I feel like my brain is slow this morning. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put in my nasal spray. Shit. Uh, but a I'm white. I'm white. Yes. There must be a mate. Oh god. Um, this doesn't work because he runs. Wait, this does. What's a free queen? I check and then mate. What do you take with? Which pawn? Which pawn? Uh, I do this. He has to come to here. Then I do this. Uh. Fuck! Oh my god. I'm literally throwing. Okay, I have to do this again. No way. Check, he runs. Bishop, check, he runs. I know I'm incredibly slow today. I know. This is like my worst run ever, but maybe I shouldn't even play. Uh, do I take and check? I just...
check he takes the knight and then I mate. I take he takes, I take he takes. I take he takes check, I take he takes. Oh, oh, we take the bishop. Ah! I could have caught up. I could have gone 32. But I just, I had a ba ba bad mindset. I was trying not to doubt myself, like Hammer said, but I did anyways. I check he comes here. I thought that was mate. Is it check? He comes here upon push. He comes here. No, that that's not gonna mate. Maybe this. He comes here, mate. He comes here. No. Here. Oh. Ay ay ay. Okay, we're gonna do it again. I just, you know, when you're sick and you can kind of just tell you're not there. But I really do want to try to win my two games in the pool. But I'm. Oh my god, I missed this. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We can get this. We're gonna put positive energy into the world. This one, I don't know, man. I feel like it was clearly this, but after he does this, I push, he does, oh, and we just push. But why is it better with this pawn rather than this pawn? Like, I see this, but why couldn't we have done that with the other pawn? Going from practice, practicing positional games to tactical games, yeah, quite the day. One, listen to mom, two, listen to hammer. To avoid white, oh, but can they really, if I take like this and they push, okay, I do this, they do this, I 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 do this, then you do this, and is this winning? Maybe. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I need to check, one second, chat, we have a meeting, I just want to check what time it's at. Okay, we're good, we have time. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I need something, I need something a little bit upbeat. What's this one? Bam, bam, bam. Okay, you know what, we're listening to techno. You know what? Oh my god, I haven't listened to this techno playlist in a long time. Alright. Did she just say an animal store stole her dessert? Was this animal wearing a hat and tie, Miss Andrea? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, no, it was not Alessia. It was a real animal, but... Yep, they only stole my dessert out of everything they could have stolen. I think that was because that was the only thing they could get into. Alright, one more. One more warm up. Has to be done. <sighs> ah! Bada -bada -bada found it. I'm in check. Check. He runs. I'm white. Check. He runs. Check. He runs. Uh, but but um, it has to be that. Fuck. Oh god, I'm throwing. Stop throwing. Yeah. 
Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang. Fifty five seconds. Bang. Okay, don't panic. Bang. That's me. Check, he runs. Check, he runs. Bishop takes or queen takes? Queen takes, he takes. Bangs, bang, 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 bang. Or no, it has to be this, obviously. What is this? Uh, I have 17. Ah! I could have, I could have destroyed this. I could have beaten my high score. This could have been so good, but I panicked. I rushed. I couldn't find what was. It? Was it this? Oh my god! I, dude, I felt so. I I know it's solid, but like. I felt so good knowing that I was so close to beating my all-time high score of all time, and then I just rushed myself. And the second I looked at the clock around here, I started doing worse. Because I saw I was doing really well. Oh my god, Danya! Thank you so much for the raid! I saw you were... I saw you were streaming with Dina Velenkaya. I That's like the best crossover ever. Hopefully, well, I mean, I don't know what we're doing, actually, but... I feel like we're going to run into you guys maybe at a tournament or maybe both as abroad. It'd be awesome. See you guys soon. He's playing Iris and Hyper Bullet. Oh, that's fun. How'd he do? Ali Reza kind of got a beating today, didn't he? Oh, no. A girl and a guy are friends. Oh, my God. They must be dating. I didn't know we're back in second grade, boys and girls. How did I get this? Did I get this wrong? Did I? Oh, I got it wrong again. Thank you so much, BJH. Thank you for the 41 months. Okay, chess players, they don't know about love yet, so they get very excited when opposite sexes intersect. Also, new chatters, I'm a little bit sick. That's why I sound like this. That's why I look like this. And if I lose, that's why I'm losing. But if I'm winning, then no explanation, no complaints. King G6? That's ugly. This should not... They should not be sneaking this in to a 1300 rated puzzle. Who... I mean, all these are just like... Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh, I guess because I didn't even realize the king... I just assumed there was mate. Wait, is this not mate? Oh, because the king runs here. That was a weird one. I don't feel bad for getting that wrong. And I thought I, I did this flawless... Oh, because the bishop blocks. So then it was obviously mate. Wait, fuck. Take, take, queen takes. That's just a free queen. That's obviously not me. Oh, I see. It's on G2. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Passant. I feel bad because I'm so congested. But you know what? Honestly, streaming is nice because it's helping take my mind off of it. Otherwise, I would just be in bed all day. Okay, so I reached my old type high last stream. It was 2118. And then I went downhill. So I'm going to try to get back there today and then i'm gonna end as soon as i get there should we play three no three two we decided last stream that we're never playing 3-0 again we must stick to that no coffee yeah i i don't think coffee is good for you when you're sick but i drink a lot of coffee oh i'm gonna try to play my new line that i studied for my tournament oh god oh god never mind i don't know what to do against this me and hammer did not prepare for this. I think he wants me to play d5, but I don't know how to play it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a risk. This is going to end badly. I'm playing a 2200. I should have played something I know. All I know is if he takes, I think I can do this. And this is... There's like a ton of lines. Oh, God. This is line. Is it bishop? Or is it here? I wish hammer was still here. No, here and then here, right? This is a very common line. I should... Oh, shit! Hammer said knight! 
Okay, Hammer, I'm trying new lines and it's not going well. I fucked up. Okay, I'm just gonna play normal chess. I'm not gonna panic. Well, I trusted my instincts and they were wrong. And now I'm panicking. And now my pawn's under attack. I have to defend it. Okay. Well, the best way to learn is from your mistakes. So next time I'll remember you're supposed to do knight here. I need to go over my chess base. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm gonna get destroyed. He's gonna do this. And Hammer, why are you still awake? Isn't it past your bedtime, young lad? Why don't I do this? At least, like, I could get out of this threat. It's not great, but I need to get out of this terrible mess that I made. He's gonna block, and then I need to do like this, because otherwise it's hanging. Can I just give it to him? No, I can't. Poop. This is kind of terrifying. Okay, we're gonna unravel our mess, and then everything will be okay. I mean, he doubled his pawns. I have to take, don't I? Then my queen's under attack. Well, at least I prevented this. Oh, but then he has this. That's the threat. Okay, what do we do against this? I really don't like what I've gotten myself into. Yes, the castle. If I could develop my dark squared bishop, I wouldn't feel so bad about it. So many hammer fans. I had an APM nap two days in a row. Okay, this isn't terrible. Um, he is gonna attack my queen. But after he does this, I can retreat. But now I can't do g g6 because I wanted to put my bishop here. So where do I put this poor guy? Okay, I have one minute. Oh god. Okay. If I attack, I get forked. Is there any threats, anything I could do? I just have no idea how to unravel. This is coming. Maybe I... <sighs> Here, I get forked. I would like to attack this. Here, here, nothing. This, this, maybe this is necessary. And just trade everything. But what if he pushes? Then I'm screwed. Well, he can't take here. Oh, uh, yeah, he can. Oh, my God. I literally can't do anything. What if I do this? I'm going to stop talking. I blame the opening. I gave him this move, which he has this, but then I can defend, but then I'm losing this. I don't think he realizes he has this. Yikes. Ah, this is horrible. I can't believe I did this. I should have played theory. Now I don't know how to prevent this. He's coming for this check. Uh, here he takes here, I take here. Rook here, if I could get away with it. I don't want to take. I'm losing my knight if I take the knight. Can't take because I take check with a fork. Can't move this guy because I get forked, so I have to do this. This is, I don't think it works, but we have to defend. Maybe he's going to back rank check me here, but then I can run. Then he can check me again. But otherwise, if I would have checked here, he would have had this. Well, we're going to hope for the best. There goes my knight. Best pace, a happy gifted a tier one sub to Kim underscore break. Okay, this is like a... Gift subs in the I feel bad that Don, your viewers, had to watch this game. That's a free queen. We don't even want this pawn.
Check. Well, I can. Oh, goodness. Check. That doesn't work. Am I getting mated? I think I'm getting mated. Well, I can come here. If I if I come here, he's gonna check me here. If I take this pawn, though, there might be hope. He kind of. Oh shit. Ah! Please don't see it. Please don't see it. Please don't see it. Please don't see it. Okay. All right, chat. Hear me out. That was not my fault. What went down here today was not my fault. It was this terrible line that I didn't understand. I bet this move was just losing. Now, I want to play 3-0, but we, we shouldn't go down. Now, I, I'm starting to mold, and I want to play speed chess. Oh, bishop d7 wasn't that bad. And what were... Okay, I'm still supposed to play knight bd7, which I need to go over. But what was I supposed to do here? Oh, queen b6 makes so much more sense. Obviously, you need to block this. <clears throat> okay, well, oh god, hammer's still here. Knight bd7, c4, and b5. Yeah, I remember that line. Okay, I'm playing 3 Huh. <laughs> Wait, is Donya still playing Ali Reza? What? Well, if they wouldn't have taken my queen, I would have mated them. So it was a very good gambit. I'm going to play 3 because I'm angry. Hammer, go to sleep. I don't... I will close your eyes. I don't want you to see this. Alright, fellow Canadian. Nicola, thank you for the 40 months. It's good to see you. Okay. Uh, I didn't really read much chat because I'm only going to read you guys once I win. I want one good game. Some good speed chess. To remind me... Okay, he's coming. He's coming here. Oh my god, thank you for the 5,000 mitts. He can't do this yet, actually. This is... I think this is theory, but can I do this? Maybe his plan is to push. But, I mean, this always seems like a decent plan to get the knights in the center. Ah! Oh! That could have been bad. I want to go to my techno playlist. Knight in the center? I think that's my best move. I am giving him the square, but he can't use it yet, because I'll always have... But he, what he could do, yeah, trade, and now he could do it. That's the... Oh. Interesting. I kind of want to go here. I feel like he's not going to want to use this square yet. But what if he does this? He kicks me out. I could also just leave my bishop there. But then he's going to play bishop d3. Do we have any other attacking moves? I still like this. Because now what if I just go back? Where is his knight going to go? Now his knight can't come anywhere. C3, and now I put my bishop, and this is good. Now he has a weakness on e6. Okay, I actually like this. This is defended. I could, I feel like I need to push c3, but I'm not in a rush. Is he going to push, push? I don't think he's going to push, because I can take. It's a free pawn. He might defend it. I want to put pressure here, so maybe I'll go bishop d3 next. And honestly, I always go c3 because you have to go to London, but it's not required here. Okay, he's attacking my pawn. I can defend with a queen. Um, but then when it, now he might do this and trade everything. But my rook will be attacking his queen. Okay. Oh, actually, I should have done this. Could do it now, but he definitely wants to push. And then trade everything? I guess I have to. Okay, we're playing kind of slowly. How do I improve my bishop? This, 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 this. This would just help me move this. Interesting choices. Okay, we're down 30 seconds. He wants this guy here. Is this a bad plan? This is kind of aggressive, but... I do have my queen. I can bring in my queen here and here. And he's going to want to do this. What if I do queen here? And then if he attacks, I come here. Okay, I have this, but it doesn't do much yet. We're down a lot of time. All we have to do is be fast. His knight is blocked in. Fuck, my bishop's blocked in. I think I need a sack. Well, it's not going to be trapped yet. Am I going to win it back? <sighs> what if I do this and then this? 
Rook b8, I push. Rook b6, I can take. One minute, we're down 40 seconds. Okay, we have the bishop here. Uh, he has an isolated pawn now. I don't want to allow this. Oh, he's going to push. That's the problem after I double. He's going to do this and then this. Um, 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 what if bang bang? Okay, this is my only plan for counterplay. Is to fork him. Oh, I had a winning move! Now he has to go, oh, he could go back to f8. No. Oh god, I left my pawn undefended. Uh, do we want to trade rooks? Oh god. I don't know. I don't know. I need to be fast. I can't, I need to win on the clock. 20 seconds. Shit! Fuck, I blundered. Fuck. No! Why am I throwing, man? Oh my god, I can't play chess. He didn't even see it. I have no moves. Okay, we have three seconds. We should just resign. Oh, my chess is so bad today. Sag day. I'm not winning, Ronnie. I'm not giving advice because I'm ashamed. Okay, well, we should be pre-moving. Um, that's how you know I'm molding, once I start pre-moving. Okay, okay, we're working on not letting the anger get to us. However, I'm not talking to anyone until I win. I should also play a different line against this because this is, like, so bad. Or black. He's not allowing my... There it is. I need this move. I'm going to win chat. Don't you worry. We're going to get a win one way or another. It might not end up becoming in the most ethical way, but we're going to get a win. Okay, I always go for F6. So we need to be careful because he's going to do this and this. So I think we need a castle, he does this, and then I push up. I think I have to go here. That's like the only way. Oh, oh no, but I walk, I walk. Did I? I take, and then if he forks me, I take. So I actually think it works. We're not worried about the fork. And now I retreat, and I take with the bishop. Or actually I could take with the queen, because he doesn't have this, because I could take. Okay, now we have an open file here we can use. Am I worried about the knight using this? No, it's defended. Um, I have a little bit of an attack here as well. This is a dice threat. Trying to win the bishop. Congrats, Web Slinger. I hope you make it. Dude, watch your flank, dude. You should watch his flank, dude. Should I take? Well, if I don't, his, he has nowhere to go. Oh my god, I should have done this. Well, I can do it later. Doesn't really make a difference, though, because he'll have to, like, run here. I want to take, but then he does this. I mean, I want to do fork. I want to take, but then he does this. But we just got to be fast. Does this do anything? Then I take, that he takes, and I defend. Then he push, then I come here. No, not really, but I should take this. Like, that's just too juicy of a piece. Oh, queen here is also interesting. Threatening rook here. This is threatening the pawn, at least. 
This won't lead anywhere. It looks good, but it doesn't lead anywhere. There's this. Now I can do this. He might push. If he push, I take, he takes. I don't know if I want to go into the end game. I want to double. He can double here, though, so maybe queen. One thirty. I can't push. I need to get this guy in. I could take with the bishop actually, if he does want to trade. <clears throat> is G is this a good plan? Kicking it out. He wants to come here. I don't think we should allow this. I want to do this. Then check. Mate. I blundered. I take, he takes, I take check. And my queen's hanging. I get two pawns, though. I take the knight back, and I get two pawns and a knight for a rook. So he has to do something about this. And if not, I take check, he takes. Okay, I'm going to throw in mate. I don't think he can defend. I don't think he can do anything. Is there any way he can defend the square? I don't think so. Finally. Uh, Danny, I cannot reply. Bye. Dude, I am watching your flank. Do not worry, dude. Poutines, it's so funny. This guy has been here since, like, day one. And I swear he... Shut up, Queen Leolin. I'm getting back there, okay? He always talks like that. Like, I, I swear he doesn't speak English, but he's very committed to the bit. But you know what, dude? I like it. All right. We need to get back over. All right, we got to keep up the momentum. Here we go again. Another symmetrical game. Yay. This is my line. And then this. And I think I go for this. Or do I go for this? No, it's always this. Question. Can I do this right away? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Yes, I can. No, I do this right now. That's the plan, I think. What? Did he just... I think he just gave me a pawn. And I could defend. And maybe put my knight here. But then how are we going to defend it? I don't think I want to take. But then he's going to push. So that means I have to come here to prevent it. Or maybe, are we... Honestly, do we care if he does that? Yeah, we do. Because then knight comes here. Knight comes there and then we might be in danger. If I take... Then I could do knight here. Actually, I kind of like this idea, and then I could defend it. Oh, interesting. Look with the queen. Sorry, Chad, I changed the song. I could defend like this. He can't push, but he could do this. Then I do this, then he does this, I do dish. Wait, no, I can't do that because of the bishop. This is under attack. Aye, aye, aye. Um... Okay, so I need my pawn. Bang. No, this is blundering. Okay, I'm down a minute. I'm gonna focus. That's fine. We're not worried about that. I really want to get my knight here. Can I take? He can't pin me. Could he? Well, he could. Ah! Oh, God. I can't do that because I'll lose my queen. Okay, thank God. I have to take like this. Okay, now we're fine. He should have played rook d1. Rook d1 would have been really scary. What if he doesn't take my queen? What if he runs? And maybe, well, I don't need a rod. Then I can double. 
Well. No. Bay Ming. No, 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 no. My pawn is hanging. I have no clue what to do except go back and forth and be annoying with my knight. We just have to be a nuisance. I'm very good at being that and catch up like a whole shitload of time. He can't do anything, but he could easily flag me is the problem. My knight is running out of squares. Hopefully he does not get trapped. Hopefully. Well, it might. Yes, I got one. Shit. How do we defend? How do you defend? Shit, that doesn't work. Fuck. I messed up really badly. There's nothing. There's no hope. I'm gonna flag! And now he's trapped. This is why chess sucks. Yep. Man, today's not the day. Today's not a good day for chess. Just go after H4, no reason to panic. Really? Here? I thought about that. Yeah, it would have been. I thought maybe I could have used my knight to uh, trap and try to fork him. I mean, yeah, I could have maybe held a draw here. Yeah, if I would have gotten this pawn. Yeah. Let me see what time we have a meeting. Okay. Oh, so you should play g5 early on. Let's see. G5 early on to encourage more pawn exchanges. That's true, because you want to trade pawns, don't you? Oh, man, I'm at 2089. I could just tell mentally today's not my strongest day, sadly. Should have not. I really, but I'll get back up to my peak. When would have I done G5, though? Maybe here? Like this? Is that what you mean, Hammer? Like this? I see, I see. Okay. I'm gonna end on a win. Because that's all that matters. It's bad you can't... Oh, a national master. Okay. This is a good redemption round. It'd be nice to end as a 2100. Again. Just feel the taste of... I can't play my theory against this, but I don't think I do typically against C5. Well, I stream candidates next. Um, we do not cover candidates, but maybe I'm playing a tournament soon. Mid-July. So we might do some commentary again. Whoa. Okay, no, this is definitely theory, but it looks a little bit strange. Can I do this? He does this. Maybe... I don't want to do Queen C8, but if I do here, he does get a tempo. I could also just go B3. I'm very curious what he would do against that. Oh, that that's what he would do. Right. 
And now this pawn is, now all of my pawns are falling. So I have to take and do this. Oh, oh God. No, I have to defend. But then I can't defend. I have to do this, he does this. Then I do this, then he does this, and I, ah, yeah, 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 what have I done? Andrea? Whoa, hello? You're playing another tournament? Uh, possibly. You're gonna play the one in, in LA? I might. I'm not sure. That's exciting. Well, after this game, I don't think, I think I'm quitting chess. No, no, you're I, I don't, great, I don't think I'm playing any tournaments I anymore. Think, I think you're Great. I think I changed my mind after my oh, performance today. Your, your performance is okay. No. Is your your buddy still here? No, he left. Oh, Sag, I wanted to say hello. I know. Sorry. I was a big fan. Were you? No. But it's just funny. You are a fan, aren't you? Can chat know? No. Sag. Well, I drank all my vitamins. He's helping me with a video idea. I will tell you it after. Or I'll tell you it right here. Okay, wait. Okay, sure. Tell me. But you can't tell. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna oh. work. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell all of us. No, just no. Me. If chat can't know, I don't want to know. Okay, I won't tell you. Oh, never mind, chat. Sorry, guys. Just kidding. Okay, hang on. I gotta focus, sister. I'm literally getting crushed. Hang on. No, 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 just no, no. Just read. Just read. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm getting in for it. Oh. How the hell? I have a hard time believing that that'd be possible. Oh, I, I do too, but we're I'm working on it from multiple angles, sister. Okay, all right. I will be ready for a meeting. Yeah. I uh, wanted to end on a win. This was supposed to be my end that I, oh, my that's win. that's where my pens went. My little notepad. It is so hot in here. I know, can you direct the fan towards me? I'm melting. How I'm literally so dying. Hot? Here, I turned it up. You know you can turn it up, right? Yeah, yeah I just, I like increase. to sit and wallow in the heat. It's what I actually enjoy most about streaming. You look less sick. Well, I'm very sick, but that's okay. I kept napping in the haunted room today. It's depressing. Right, I'm gonna go <laughs> this conversation's very dark. <laughs> I just got really upset over losing my ga losing my game. H6 traps your knight. What? What? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I don't want to trade. I don't want to trade with you! God damn it! Where's your queen gonna go? Ah! That's fine. Okay, I don't know what our plan is. Maybe this. This might. Yeah, no. Yet. Oh, now I kind of need to. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I have to. Ah! But then it just goes to G8, and then I literally have to resign. I can't even sack. Wait, okay, I'm not taking this. We're not taking back. But then what? Maybe we bring in the rook, then he takes, and then I do this? That ah, could be an idea. Man, this guy's being freaking cautious. Taking his sweet time. So after he retreats, thank you for subscribing. Um, oh, I could. But the issue is my knight is trapped. There's just no hope in this cruel world. I'm so slow. Oh god. Oh, I'm done, chat. Today was not a chance, and the fan is blowing in my eyes, and it's making me. Oh, it's making my eyes start up.
Oh god. Alright, well... We tried. We failed. Sometimes... <laughs> Great stream, Andrea. Do you mean it, coffee man? Look into my watery eyes and tell me you mean it. Okay, I'm, uh... The heat is actually getting to me, and so is my cold, and my heat stroke seems to come back. I have no more water. Where is my gallon jug? Well, the studying was good. No, I mean, we can't win every day. God has to keep me humble, you know? If I was winning every stream, my ego would be the size of Hassan's. Oh, is Kevin streaming? I'll check him out. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I need to recover. We have Chess TV tomorrow, so either me or Alex will be streaming. Um, let's use live. <laughs> I do want to play a turn. I, I still want to play that tournament in July, and I don't think there's any reason not to. So we'll see, though. I'm scared that I peaked and that I'll never do the same again. But thank you guys for hanging out for the chill stream. I know it's a little bit slower than usual because my brain is a little bit slower. Where the frick is the chess category? My brain is slower than usual. Why is there no chess? Why is there no chess? Chess. Give me chess. Chess. For God's sake. I don't see uh, Kevin. See, look. This is what I want to show you guys. I hate everything. Where is my audio? This one. One second. I blame Alex. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys heard me, but I said every time I search up chess, it gives me amaranth, and it just confuses my brain. No matter what computer I'm on, and I'm not logged into my Twitch account. It's not like it's like a recommended system. Um, oh, Marble Chess. I want to see if Kevin, someone said Kevin was streaming. I don't think he is. The algorithm, Emran's shows up even in the soup? Really? Oh, guys, Kevin isn't live. He's on CPP chess. I, I, I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, are they, they're... What? I'm so confused. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to raid these nice folks. If you don't know Kevin, he... Oh, we haven't updated the thumbnail yet, but he was in our YouTube video. He's been in our streams. Um, he was a very nice man. He even let us... He posed with the rose and let us retook thumbnail photos for this video. But Kevin's a really nice sport from a University of Las Vegas chess club. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for hanging out. You made Emerith appear on every single search. Oh, interesting. Um, so let's give them a surprise raid. They've helped us a lot. A lot. Good kids. Oh, actually, me and Kevin won the doubles tournament without me actually knowing. And, um, I'm getting money sent now. I didn't bully him. I didn't bully him. Just can't let people come into the stream expecting that you're easy to get. He did win me 600 bucks, so. This is me paying him back. We'll be live tomorrow at 3 p.m. PT. I'm going to go make some food and get some rest. Hopefully, uh, hopefully DJ stream still happens Friday. Um, sadly, no workout stream. But if that was, I was going to do that Sunday. Maybe I'll be better by Sunday. Um, and I think that's all I know that my plans are for this week. But thank you guys for hanging out for the chill stream. Bye, Andrea's vase. Bye, Rebecca Lauren. Good to see you. Thanks, Hipside. Hi, Mega. It's okay. You didn't really miss anything eventful. Don't worry. 